Alright, I think everything looks good, the map's up, everything's working, I have power, perfect. Everyone, welcome to 2096, a post-apocalyptic role-playing game set in the not-so-distant future. Intelligence is rewarded, stupidity is punished, this is my world, but these are your stories. Whatever you do, don't roll a one. This is a new season of On World. This is session 32, not including that one with Baldrick and the Beatles, uh, which we don't bring up. Anyways, I'm going to introduce our players today. We have four players. Uh, we're going to start with Patrick. And uh, Patrick, well, you have been here since, well, session one. You joined three years ago or some shit at this point. So it's been a few sessions. Too many to count. Uh, anyways, tell us who you are playing today, about yourself, whatever. The floor is yours. Playing as uh, Kevin V. Scrambled brain, split personality, former mushroom farmer, former mercenary, former worm hunter. He doesn't really know who he is anymore. Does anyone here really know who they are? Uh, yeah. Good times. Melody? 
you have been here since, uh, yeah. I believe, session five. So it's been a couple of sessions for you, too. Yep. Which is pretty neat. Uh, the uh, good old days when I used to eat scientists. Yeah, yeah, a long time That's ago. That's how she got so smart so fast. She, tell us about she. Tell us about Kiki. Okay, Kiki is essentially a man made god who essentially was growing up from a baby. Probably growing more intelligent than most humans. In fact, they were probably smarter at, than Baldrick at birth. <laughs> and now, time to introduce my sidekick, Wilson. <laughs> Joseph, uh, MC, you've been playing since session 10 now, so it's also been a couple of sessions for you. I'd just like to emphasize the fact that that little bitch is no one's sidekick. That <laughs> little bitch is my bitch. sidekick. <laughs> it's my, in fact, she's no, because no one wants her as a sidekick. That's what the issue is. She's some kind of degenerate freak. Anyway, <laughs> enough of this. Freak. Enough about her, because she's tedious. Um, <laughs> Joseph is a man of a particular set of skills, mostly around psychic powers, but he has been known to summon the old worm now and again. Yes, he is in fact Paul Atreides from June, so he in fact is a god. You are not. Be quiet, you little whelp. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that'll do for the moment. I'm sure something will come up later. So I see the showdown coming up. It's going to be Beatles versus Kiki versus Sandworms. I mean, we know who's going to win. Because, anyways, it doesn't matter right now. All right, <clears throat> let's continue, shall we? Before we get way off topic. Uh, William, this is well. You've joined at session 21, if I was correct, in my record keeping, which is pretty well lackluster, I guess. Uh, anyways, you are playing Cipher. Uh, thanks for joining us. Tell us a little bit about him, will you? Yes, so I'm the newest member of the team, although I've been here for a little bit now. Uh, and he is a hacker hailing from uh, another city in the Genesis and came across this ragtag bunch of self-proclaimed gods. And, <laughs> and then there's the homeless man. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Who, who is now Cypher's probably, I, I suppose, um, uh, wingman, I guess we, we are for each other with our matching sunglasses. I don't know if Kevin still has them. Uh, but yeah, it, he, he's the... Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're, uh, I'm the hacker of the group and I'm jokingly talking about a Terminator arc, but now that I've almost lost an arm, the prospect of replacing my whole body with uh, an exoskeleton is quite tempting. So I think that arc might be <laughs> might be underway. Well, we'll see. And that starts Kiki's clairvoyant arc. Oh my god! Yes, projecting. Yes, you have figured out that there are a couple things in this world that equal life. It's armor and frames, especially uh, restricted to your frames. And we're going to get into all of that. Anyways, uh, I'm excited to play with all of you. Thanks for playing and joining us. Uh, and me in this world that I created. Anyways, uh, updates. Let's uh, let's do some of these on the stream, shall we? I'm going to bounce a couple of things off of you all. Some changes I've been making over the last week. Uh, I owe you all a new player pack and a new core. Uh, which I have been working on between writing and looking for alpha readers. Anyways, uh, here's a couple of things. Let me know if you agree, disagree, or what your thoughts are before we get into the game, if you would. Uh, I am changing how area of effect weapons work. Uh, this has been an ongoing debate for me as we have played a lot of sessions and I've had a problem with it for a while, so I changed it. In other words, area of effect weapons such as rockets, missiles, and grenades will use standard hit probability and skill. They will not use the armor level adjustment uh, when throwing or firing since they are not direct point weapons. Does that make sense to everyone? And do I need to explain yep. further? Uh, so, well, I haven't really used any before. I mean, I've felt the blow of this area <laughs> effect weapon last time, but so, so it's. It, nope. it, it doesn't, so it, there's no armor 
uh, like so when you're like for example throwing a grenade it's just the straight throw of the dice and there's no like modifiers is there worth with armor level yeah exactly so there will be any like skill adjusts so basically if you have an explosive level oh okay you'll use that okay. but yeah. it's not because you're not trying to hit the armor you're trying to get close to and what's going to happen is with mm -hmm. the area effect weapons there's going to be four points uh basically off so say if your hit probability is seven uh you're going to throw it if you get a seven or up you're going to get close to the target and it's going to explode if you're four points off it's far enough away where it does no damage However, there could be other things because once again, these are you're not trying to hit the target specifically. You're trying to get close. Okay, so like if yeah, so your hit probability is saying give or take the number of like of four. So if you rolled below a seven and rolled a three, it would be like just close enough. Is it? Yeah. So if if it's, okay. it's a four point, whatever. So whatever your hit probability yeah. is plus the skill. Uh, if you're four points off, there's going to be no damage, but every point closer to that, you know, you're trying to get like an eight, we'll say. If you get an eight, mm -hmm. it's pretty much full damage. You're right on target. Anything off, you're close. There'll be some damage, but not as much. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. But yeah. then, so then if you roll a big hit, like a larger number, that's still it's just automatically like in the best zone for it. Yeah. And then I have a crit question okay. about AoE. Right. Right. Okay. Fine. Yeah. In the case of grenades, yep. is it possible to drop one as a free, uh, as like a free action thing? Oh, so that's another thing. So it's not going to be a free action, but grenades are also not going to explode right when you drop them or throw them. They're going to explode on the next turn. So, in other words, if you toss a grenade into a room, if there is a character or an NPC which is quick, they can theoretically pick that up and toss it back. Could you use an action to cook the grenade? You can. You can use an action okay. to cook the grenade, and you can also uh, pretty much throw it back with that. So speaking of which, I'm thinking uh, of bringing actions per turn back. I don't know if you all know. I kind of stopped that after a couple of people broke the system. Um, but in this game, in this world, there are frames and augmentations that are quick, that really could do more actions that, yeah, they are speedy. So. I think I fixed most of the exploits from these past players who broke the system. Are you all good with okay. doing that? Wait, I, I didn't realize that was... Uh, I, th I thought we already had the actions, but... Well, you have... Cause... Right now, it's been a standard two action per turn. That's that's what I... Oh, well, I mean, I thank, you luckily my speed like allowed that anyway, so I just thought Yeah, it I thought was... if you got 11 speed, you get three actions. Yeah, so it's, it's changed in the new player pack and core that I have, uh, and I can read that to you guys if you okay. want to implement that. If that's something that makes sense. Um. Well, what we, what we could do is we could. Oh, well, if there's not like loads of changes now, then we could like live update things like stats. For example, like yeah. let's say, if it's now like oh my speed now means I've only got like one action per turn or whatever. Hold on, let me pull that up. So, actually, I think it's the same chart that's in the player pack and um, the core. I think I think the actions per turn are in there. Let me see if I changed them. Hold on. Yeah, there, there were, uh, at least in the player pack. Oh, uh, give me a second. Downloaded. Of course I closed. Why would I have the page open that I need? I mean, yes, but, you know, like, once again, if you have a faster frame or your speed is higher, you're going to get more actions. I got rid of that whole burst thing, which was silly, um, to balance it a little bit better. Uh, for the older players, you remember how some of us were, or some players were able to fire 16,000 bursts. That's not yes. a thing. It's still, it's still going to be an action. Um, how the system is right now, I'm still looking for attributes here. How it is, I set it up so that basically once you get like a 12 speed, it's going to double your action, so it's going to be four. And then after that, you know, it's all, you're fast because of robotics, augmentations, uh, have the right sheet with me. Damn. Oh wait, there it is. Yeah, so actions per turn. If your speed is one or two, it's gonna be one. Basically you're gonna have two actions from three up till nine. A speed of ten, you're gonna have three actions. Speed of eleven, you're gonna have three. Twelve, you're gonna have four, and it goes up from there later on. So basically if anyone has a ten or eleven speed, you get three actions. If you have a twelve speed, you get four. 
Solid. Uh, what else? There was something. So that was area effect actions per turn. Uh, skills. Let me do that real quick. So skills are not going to magically upgrade while you sleep. You will need eight hours of free time. Does that make sense? Yes, yes it does. And the uh, was so eight hours of downtime, like so yeah. sleep is needed. So, okay. As, yeah, but sleeping is not going to typically. Uh, while you're asleep, you're not gonna. Yeah, you need eight hours to work on a skill to upgrade to the next level. Uh, and the last thing I worked on. Which oh, I'm, sorry, eight hours to uh, build a skill up. Okay. So yeah, like yeah. if you know when when we're when we're doing the time jump again. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So if you're doing a time eight skip, hours. time skip or whatever, if you have an eight, so the days are always going to be. Uh, broken up into three blocks pretty much depending on how much sleep you get and awake you take yeah. which brings me on to the next thing which is program generation i know uh i haven't really had hackers and nobody's i've had one player who's no longer with us who has done program generation uh and that was also very broken anyways i changed it so that i think it's it's a great program generation system it's fun um at some point i need somebody to rp that with me in or out of the session, maybe, just so we can, you know, I can. Well, yeah, I, I guess as a hacker, I should be. <laughs> do that. Yeah, yeah, we're just, we're just so yeah. safe, right? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah. this is, I think the system's awesome. I think it's going to work out good, but obviously, I need somebody to play that with. Uh, yeah, no, I did have a kind of like um, something in my backstory which I still haven't worked on more, but there was something about like a program, like a, you know. Not maybe not like a god program, you know, but like you know, some very high restricted thing that uh, because I didn't know how custom making programs was like if that was a thing in this world or not. Also, oh, I'm pretty sure a god program is impossible with all those AIs and Omega. Well, I mean, not <laughs> not necessarily like a uh, like I mean, just like a really powerful, uh, I don't know, like oh. either espionage tool or so thing to like you know, shut down the system. In... Mm. An ultra killer. Yeah, kind of like either a kill switch for things or just something that mm. could cause a lot of disruption. Because so I, I'm uh, thinking from the perspective of like a, a corporation being able to use yeah. it to sabotage a competitor. So essentially, or, a program uh, that it it doesn't need to hack into it. All it needs to do is scramble the codes, so it essentially functions on its own. Well, yeah, I mean, I haven't thought of all the. So yeah. specifics. It was, it was more speed. of just ideas. I got, um, yes, basically once you get into program generation, uh, I mean, it's an open world game, so whatever, whatever you can think of. I'm just, you know, I'm creating the confines, and I think I have a great mm. program generation system now. So if you want to play it at some time or role play a couple of these things, uh, let me know. I, I yeah. want to get the system streamlined, obviously. Um, yes. It doesn't really, yeah, that, I'd say you're probably the one who use this the quickest or you know the soonest uh, versus everyone else but i i think it i don't know i think it's it's gonna be a fun system and it makes it simple mm -hmm. you know how i am this this game is designed to be simple yeah anyways uh you might you might go on to this so forgive me if, if i'm uh jumping the gun but the for building things like cybernetics and like building your own stuff you said you're gonna have like a resource list or components list for that yeah. Oh, but come on. Yep. We'll have to do a. Uh, I'm still working on that. Uh, on okay, you yeah, know that, that's fine. I was just. Uh, yeah. It's gonna. You know, for those of you who don't want to use a nanite forge and who want to uh, take parts and put them together. Um. All right. Yeah. I think that's it. Area of effect. Uh, actions per turn. Skills. Program generation. Uh. For those that were not here, you all get 58 experience for last session. You have all a session streak of four, and then it was uh, 18 points for taking on the heavy weapon platform. Nice. Uh, so, recap. Should I get into that? Oh, 58 in total. 58 points for last session, yes. Uh, recap, good? Good? Everyone's yeah. good with that? Okay. Yeah. Recap. Uh, last couple of sessions, lots happened. Go watch them on YouTube. Anyways, uh, last session, yeah. our players uh, passed time with the Bloom Hunters, celebrating the Bloom as they waited for the storm to pass. Uh, you know, once again, a sandstorm, which you should not go out in. So anyways, uh, at sunset, you all said your goodbyes and left the executive's airship. 
Alexander, the head of the Bloom Hunters, was up top looking at Spire 11, 24 kilometers away, noticing a light that wasn't there before. You all head out on what should be a five hour walk, if all goes to plan. However, it does not, as Cypher is suddenly caught in what appears to be quicksand. It only takes a few moments for the group to pull him out when the ground suddenly heaves and a heavy weapons platform emerges from the sand. The group takes heavy damage and Cypher's arm is crippled in the battle, but they somehow manage to defeat it. Now you find yourselves there, in front of the smoldering wreck of the heavy weapons platform as the sun sets on the horizon. Uh, yeah, so you're all right there. Uh, the heavy weapons platform is sending smoke up into the sky, which is illuminated by the setting sun, or the set sun. I think I had Kiki running towards the spire, like scared. Okay, and Kiki takes off running towards the spire. Uh, I'm just... Ow. <laughs> My arm. Ouch. I am in pain. Uh, it's your character up, right? I think I I was on my ass, like just sitting down, holding my arm, and then uh, I think Kevin gave me a med kit, advanced yeah, med kit. Yeah, I think you an advanced. Uh, yeah. Med kit. Thank you, good sir. Uh, does that include a sling, or should I make my own? I've got some stuff on. Yeah, there'll be a sling in in the med kit. Okay. Good. Uh, right, so yeah, I'm slinged up and not feeling too hot. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll chase Kiki down. Right, I bloody well hope you don't walk into any more of those. If and as do, you take a step, another one starts sinking into the ground. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kiki and it's surrounded. Kevin give me speed checks. speed have you taken is the question all of it Depends i found this, this, this box. box you are no infernus oh eight speed gives me two actions right oh yeah yeah i, I need i should probably see about upgrading my speed i am speed mm -hmm. um Yes, I am. Speed. All right, he catches you. Uh, what do you do? Tell me, or tell us. How are you catching her? I just gently like grab her in a, in a light hug and like it's okay. Calm down. There, there's no need to run right now. He says the bird doesn't know. Tentacles no. Tentacles squirm out of her armor as they just wrap around her, as he hug, as she hugs him. Now, uh, he is currently Kiki stuck back. to him now. You now have an armor of Kevin. Ke Kevin's Kevin's strong boy. <laughs> Weak mind, strong back. Come to the good. cuteness. Obey the cuteness. No, don't obey the cuteness. Ignore the cuteness. Or she is I have tedious. my helmet on. And I stumble to my feet and start moving over to regroup with the rest. I was going to offer to help you to your feet if you want. Oh, okay, yeah. Retcon, uh, I take a chase of sand and with my non-crippled arm <laughs> with my friends. And is the sun rising or setting? <clears throat> it is set over the horizon uh, as you all... Yeah, I think we've still got time. Yeah, you weathered the uh, the sandstorm as it went by during the day. Remember, you were at night harvest. The sandstorm rolled in. It took a day for the sandstorm to pass, so the sun literally just went down over the horizon. Uh, and it's still okay. somewhat light, you know, and it's dusk, I guess you would call it, right? Uh, but it's going to go down quick. The sun always takes, uh, well, there's more sun rising than there is falling for some strange reason. 
Uh, and the smoldering wreck of the heavy weapons platform is in the background. Uh, the spire, once again, is... Uh, how far did I say it was? Uh, I thought we were right in front of it. Oh, no. No, it was... Uh, no. no, we were still away, I yeah, think. You just got within the barrier, about like four kilometers maybe. So it's about 20 kilometers ish from you we'll say so four hours to walk what could possibly go wrong how's that <clears throat> i'd like uh, to get a move on and capitalize on a, the lack of sun while we can yeah let's get moving uh i recalibrate the drone if it needs to be you know back up and running and uh get it scouting again for us Okay. Once again, how far out do you send said drone? Uh, hmm. I think, what did we say last time? 100 meters ahead, wasn't it? So there's lots like of dips that, yeah. with the dunes. And how many drones do you, you just have one drone up, right? Yeah, we're only Is that all we had? I thought it, yeah, we've got one drone. Oh. We got multiple, but they are yeah, we got four expensive, and there's ones. a good chance they can yeah. be destroyed easier. Yeah, that's fine. Would would having more make it easier to spot things? Uh, I would say probably. Like, yes. would it be a multiple? Okay, I'm just running because last time I thought we rolled quite well, but we still missed the. Mm -hmm. Oh, this thing was very. It was like, anyways. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Obviously, having more drones up uh, will increase your visibility and your chance of detecting things do they have any I'll visibility give... modifiers like you know thermal sensors or oh yeah no they have a full suite of uh i mean they're reconnaissance drone that the bloom drones that the bloom hunters use so they are hmm. they literally that's what they're designed to do is to detect okay. as well you know unless things are buried underneath sand uh with specialized shielding because they're a heavy weapons platform that you guys have never seen I love these things. But okay. Anyways. Um, okay, no, that's why I was just wondering if there was things I could tweak. To can you look it. through it while the thermal thing is active? Uh, through your comm term, you can, yeah. Right. In fact, if you look at Kiki with that, you won't see her. Uh, you see her armor, though. I say, oh my gosh, Kiki, your arm is walking by itself. <laughs> it's it's a fun thing that her body temperature is extremely lower. Than most, that'll show up though. Yeah. The temperature. Was, yeah, it'll be. Yeah. yeah. The temperature, I, especially I it's, if it's cold. Remember, at night. kids, this is the future. These, the this, these drones are. Well, let's just say they're pretty up there with corporate stuff. Uh, they're looking at visual spectrums that we can only fathom at this moment. Let's put it that way. So, at, at night becomes day. They're able to see pretty much variations, and it's not that shitty augmented night vision. Uh, they are pretty good, so you can watch them. I believe Cypher was watching through the comm term, uh, walking when he got stuck in the sand, the, the pit. But yes, they, it will give you an advantage if you have all drones up and doing a reconnaissance pattern. Yes, I'll give Cypher the other three drones and let him handle the programming of that since he knows more about tech than I do. I configure them. Slapping on my IR goggles. Yeah, I. I wait, how many did you give me? Another. You have four total now. Four total, okay. Got eyes in the sky. Four total drones. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, I configure them into. Yeah, just to spread out up ahead, 100 meters ahead, but like spread out nicely. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get moving then. So, are we all going to continue towards the. Mm -hmm. right, I think okay. we're, yeah, let's get walking. Okay, well, in that case, my character starts walking. Starts walking as fast as he can. He clings on to Kevin. <laughs> You're clinging on to Kevin. Okay. Yes. Alright. You all continue. Broken formation. 
at this point, I need. Uh, we're gonna do an event roll right off the bat. Oh no, I'm, I'm go. historically awesome at these guys. I love yeah. event rolls. No, this is so well, maybe no, right. Oh, oh, that's a great oh. start. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, well done. Uh, now you screwed, uh, haven't you? Screwed uh, the pooch. I've only got well, you know, I've only got one arm to roll. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> you spoke yes. too soon. No, screw the pooch. Oh yes. my god. Well, um, I, did, I felt sorry for him, so I didn't want to let him be on his <laughs> own. So I decided to screw, help screw him over the pooch as well. The good thing we're man. walking you know separately. Just F Y, yeah. Put space yourselves on this map. Will you? F Y I. I was hoping you guys would just get there and nothing would happen. But with two ones, oh god. Uh, all right. Another fault. heavy weapons platform. You As, asked us. You asked us to roll, man. I, I That's did. your own fault. I did. You're right. I just wanted. To, I was whatever. All right. As you continue towards the spire, which is in in front of you, you all saw the picture, right? Uh, you're going mm -hmm. to see said picture. Hold on. As I'm going to throw it. Nope, not you. No. Nope. Is this on. where the shadow hounds come into play? Every single enemy in the desert appears yeah everything not not just one the spire falls on us. <laughs> yeah. damn it uh where's undo the spire launches into space hold on Fuck. the spire is in fact a rocket actually hey, look, what? We're, we're attacked by sandworms all right Tiny. anyways here's what happened or what i got going on can you read that actually maybe uh, yeah, it's we can zoom in on. I don't know. Well, there's a spire. It's up ahead. See, that's a good concept, aren't right? All right. As you all continue, uh, you can give me perceptual checks now. God, I like this, this spire. I love this spire. Anyways. Hmm. Day, what time now, of day is it? Night? Yeah, it's nighttime. Yeah. So those are very sensitive. You have your dampers on, I assume. Yep. Um, All right. So we're just I gonna treat this as necklace. normal. You do. So just treat these as normal. No pluses or negatives. That was a good roll. I'm doing well. I'm getting better. I start with a one mm -hmm. onto three. Good. By good. the end of the session, I'll be rolling twelves. Hey, it's uh, only up from here. And this right. is when you start rolling all ones. All right. Uh, Kiki, you're holding on to Kevin, right? Yes. Okay, so that makes complete sense. Actually, I don't think they can read it anyways, but we'll just leave it like that. It's fine. <clears throat> all right. As you all continue, you suddenly hear a deathly howl somewhere in the distance. The howl is followed by others seemingly surrounding you. The howls send chills down your spines, or up your spines, whatever it is. And you suddenly feel like... It suddenly feel like you are not alone, as the spire is still, I don't know, five, ten kilometers in front of you. Um, did start Kiki heard the howl? Scanning. Kiki, the howls sound, well, almost soothing to you. Kevin's gonna, gonna scan the horizon real quick with, with his IR. Yeah. He's just gonna climb Kevin and just sit on his shoulders. All right, I need better view. two of you to give me another perception check. Mind you, this check has to be... Here, I'll tell you the level of difficulty to actually make you cry. Wait, if I can find it. Mm. I'm 11. I mean, these things are... Wiley. Did anyone get over a 28? Um, <laughs> no. I got two 17s. Wait, who, who is re-rolling? I, I, everyone can at this point. I need oh, a 28. Okay. These guys are wily. Uh, I don't Come think I even can. Me. I can't even uh, get to 28. No, <laughs> no I don't. Well, if I you don't roll a can. natural 12, though. Yeah. I think that's 20. Uh, yeah. that, was your, that was close. I mean, if you got a 12, that would have been. At any rate, all right. <clears throat> You see nothing. However, the howling quickly dies out. What are you all doing? We'll continue. We'll keep an eye out. But yeah. we need to continue. We need to get where we need to go. Yeah, I'm with you. 
Yep. Just keep swinging. I, swinging. I would like to say Kiki's waving out there as if to say hi. Yeah, I would say you're the only one who's not like terrified currently. Um, uh, the Desert Dweller. Actually, you can all give me intelligence checks. How about that? Straight up. Because like even though some of you, this is an 18, uh, 12 you need oh. to get. Oh, fucking yeah. yeah, you need to get a 12 like that. Yeah. Boom. I'm, I'm going to say Joseph unless you get I realize that know. we're screwed. You're, you're uh, going to know. I... What? Can I have okay. a bonus? You don't need a bonus for that. This was an easy thing. Uh, Joseph gets a bonus because he's a desert dweller. Oh, don't tell uh, me it was an easy thing. I got 12. Well, no, no, no. It wasn't easy, <laughs> but I'm saying Calm for, down. <laughs> for desert dwellers, this would be easy. Yeah, yeah. Like, Kevin, I would say, like, the city dwellers, like you two, Kiki is kind of, like, part of them, so that wouldn't be a big... Anyways, you realize that the sound that you're hearing, the howling in distance, is not like the coyotes I hear at night here. It is definitely shadow hounds. How far or how close they are... You're not sure, but you know, whatever the case is, shadow hounds are not to be trifled with, no matter how high your character's level is, or how much armor you have, which is pretty much none. Uh, do you want me to read shadow hounds to you all? Or actually, uh, Billy, do you want to read? Do you still have the shadow hounds out? Uh, yeah, I do. Why don't you, good. Um, Why don't you just read them? Read it for me. Okay, let me just find which uh, page it is on. Um, I have a lot of tabs open. You and me both. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. I thought the coyotes were um, out here. Incredible, quick and agile, these beasts are the bringers of death in the desert. They can move without a sound rapidly across the sands, wispy and long. They have strong limbs and fierce teeth. Their body is covered in long, sharp spines that are similar to matted fur. Like armors, the beasts are pitch black. If you're lucky, you might see the glow of their eyes before they rip you to shreds. They travel in packs and live in dens underground. If they grab a hold of you, they will try to snap your neck. Or did you detach? Uh, tell, tell them the damage just off the... Do you have that on yours? Yeah, I do. Um, 4d12 bite, 2d12 scratch, and 3d12 tail whip. Nice. That's but, but, but... Uh, do you not have that? They negate armor up to level 4 or 5? Um, I do not, and wow, they, Kiki really is one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they will fucking go right through your armor. Basically. Uh, I'm gonna run away. Just run away! I'm going to do a brave Sir Robin. I'm, I, I, I bury my head in the I'm sand. fucking terrified, like, of these things, because, yeah, no, they will... Uh, hold on, I am trying to find the page. Like I said, I need to update your stuff. Hold on, let me find this because, yeah, it's level four or five that their bites will go through, plus their tails. <clears throat> Anyways, it's not going to come into play, I don't think, this session. Uh, as you all can give me, well, we're going to do a uh, speed check versus them. Speed check? Is that initiative or is that just speed? Yeah, let's do initiative. That's a good way of doing it. Um, while I'm being carried by Kevin... I seemingly want to go towards them. Can I work against Captain? <laughs> okay. Just, just get rid. Of, just why are you walking against him? Why not just get off him? I mean, do you do you want Captain to just drop you and let you run off towards the giant monsters? No, no. I'm um, yeah, I just don't roll one since I'm technically being carried. Remember, just give me. Haven't seen these right? things in action before. Damn, that's not what I wanted. The howling continued. God, I wish. Have you guys been like? Oh, I love coyotes oh, at night. Twelve was so <laughs> fucking Kevin close. Got three. Yeah, come on. I'm fairly fast. I am fairly fast. What did Kiki get? <laughs> it just was like fuck oh, this. I I'm out. I didn't. I didn't roll. Uh, roll. Go you're rolling go. against. Yeah, whatever you get versus Kevin. That's Kevin. You, uh, um, you see, uh, MC basically or Joseph, uh, fucking start to book it uh, with yeah. Cipher. As soon as you see that, you follow. Uh, however, Run under the hills. Uh, as I Kevin struggles, point, so I'm looking ahead, 
yeah. fucking suddenly, not knowing they're running. <laughs> suddenly, you see everyone start to book it, right? Hearing this howling that should send shivers down your spine. You all know what it is. Uh, Kiki is the only one, well, who wants to go towards the howling. By the way, which is all over the place. Uh, the she's I was fighting you. When I said working against him, oh, okay. I was completely joking. I all said right. that I don't think you heard once me. Ag once again, you say this shit. I'm going to use it. You know this. I know, That's I fine. specifically said I was joking. You're all going. You You're all going. Hold on. It's pretty good. You guys are doing pretty good. What was that plus one for there, uh, MC Joseph? I get plus one because of my speed. I got a 10 speed of 10. Oh, I forgot to add their speed. Hold on. That's what I was doing. I was like. Wait, Wait, are we doing like plus the? No, no, no! Oh, no, no. You, if you roll, roll, if you use the initiative tracker. Oh, no, this is just three rolls. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, so, no, yeah it's, an, it's supposed three. to be initiative roll. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh. Oh. Okay, then you I said roll one. straight twelve. Okay. Yes, yeah, straight twelve. I'm sorry, I did. You're right, I did. Uh, but I was looking at. Hold on, let me see. What, what do they get? The uh, reaction. Six, their one, reaction five. adjustment is five. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Shit. Do you guys have the right reaction adjustments? They will know. have if they've got the initiative, if they use yeah. the initiative. Yeah, so if you if you I use that. Hold on, what's your speed there, uh, Cypher? Uh, six. Oh, no, my reaction adjust is zero. Yeah, so you get zero. On. Anyone else? If you're eight, nine, you're one. If you're 10 or 11, you're two. If you're 12, 13, you're three. And it goes up from there. But they have a plus five. five. Okay, so you get a plus one too. Or did you add that? It doesn't matter. I think that they're plus five. Uh, well, yeah, I got I'll a just add mine and change it to what I rolled originally. Okay. <laughs> All right. As you continue, the howling kind of dies down, but you feel like you're not alone. We're gonna do it one more time. Wait, guys, there's a rock in my boot. <laughs> There's a sneak gun. Wait, where's my character? One more and there's a tie. Mm -mm. Uh, Fuck it, know. hell. <laughs> uh, oh, Amy, you're so fast. Cool. I'm amazed. Oh. <laughs> oh, Wilson, you I'm are faster speed than... <laughs> demon. I ain't gonna outrun the bear, just gonna outrun you. I... Uh, I believe the correct term is oops. Wow. Uh, who are we waiting on? Who didn't roll? Anyone? No, I, I think, think everyone's rolled now. She also did roll again. Shoot. I don't need to roll again because I rolled the right one the first time. <laughs> you did roll another oh, Unlucky bitches. <laughs> He's made to roll again. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Plus five. You can't beat that, right? No. Yeah. No. No. All right. Hold on. Uh, who's where? Where are your tokens? Put them on this lovely map here, on this spire, will you? Just so we I know. tripped Cypher. Mine, mine disappears underneath. Uh, yeah, we it does bring it? In a more... No, it doesn't. No, just bring a new for one. For me, it, for me, it does. It doesn't. If you put it. Oh yeah, yeah no. If uh, you wait, put it behind. Hold on. The... Hold on. Wait. Stop moving. Stop moving. There you go. You're good. Now move it. Oh, okay. There you go. You are yeah, all in the front. I was all right. Point, so you're on point Karen Kiki. I was until Great. everybody ran away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, uh, you guys are probably in front at this point. Yeah, so Joseph is up front because you rolled a uh, fucking good 11. Yeah, Joseph's about so Joseph is in front, moving you guys back here. North is always yeah. the way, and then Cypher's probably like, fuck this, follows after Joseph. So uh, and then who rolled Joseph? What did you roll? 11? I rolled, t yeah, 10 plus 1, 11. Okay, so 11, then Cypher, you're at a 1. I did I did 9 then, one. but I didn't do 3 and okay. took the first one. Second. <clears throat> I don't even, I don't, shouldn't even roll this, but... We'll do it for shits and giggles. Uh, and that was supposed to be separate, so each one... Alright, one misses, that's fine. But the 10, 9, 3, and 10 all fucking do stuff. Alright. As you all take off, 
you feel like you are suddenly being hunted. As you're running, suddenly out of nowhere, it's like a shadow. And a brick wall hits every single one of you. Kiki uh, and Kevin, give me a look check. Guys, this might be the end of Kevin. This might be the end of all of us apart from Kiki. It might be the end of Kiki as well, you never know. I think Kiki's gonna rule over there, I think that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, I joined the other side and started devouring you. You both got 16? <clears throat> that's great. Yeah. That fucking does nothing for me, hold on. All right, <clears throat> Kevin, you're running with Kiki when all of a sudden you see so this black shadow and Cypher just gets knocked fucking like over there. We'll say that. Uh, also, you see Joseph. He gets fucking hit and knocked over there. Before you can react, you also get hit by something and end up on the ground. Uh, Kiki flies off, falling there. Let's do initiative right now. Oh, wait, I just realized I should be applying minus two to everything because I'm... Cripple? My left arms, yeah. Is that, what? <laughs> is that minus two to everything I do with my arm? Or is uh, that like... Yeah, so you can't use your arm to fire or do actions, and it lowers your ability to do anything else, pretty much. Uh, oh, so that minus but, two is for everything. Uh, good news is crippled limbs, once you have nanites and medkits, will heal typically within a day, so you'll be fine. Um, if, yeah, sorry, if we'll... I still have this arm. <laughs> Uh, what are we rolling again? Uh, initiative. Initiative. <clears throat> oh, or in that case, I'll just pick my character and roll initiative. See, right? I, I got that. Six. There we go. I need a roll for them. Where are they? Does the minus two apply to the initiative as well? Because I know. You know, that's a good question. Initiative. Should it? I feel like maybe it should. You're at a. You're Is disabled. there a way to modify? Uh, initiative? you. Like when rolling. I no. don't know. So. Ethics, maybe? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I guess I don't have to apply them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Well, uh, Kevin, why do I have two Kevins? Would you roll? Well, because uh, it's Kevin and Morbus. Think... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he rolled a four. It just added it. Yeah, yeah, some I reason. Rolled, rolled a four. I don't remember where the other Kevin came from. Yeah, but the Kevin and Mortis thing was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you just see me kind of point, split right? <laughs> meiosis and, and another one run away. Oh, they do get the oh, plus five, so they got a fifteen. Uh, I was gonna say they rolled the exact same as Kiki. All right, actually, this is gonna be great. All right, for who? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna see as they have knocked pretty much everybody on their asses. Uh, yeah, and I'm sorry you didn't really get to fight that. These things are disgusting and terrifying. Kiki. You are suddenly faced with a shadow hound. It goes from looking at Kevin to looking at you. You can just make it out with your enhanced sighting. It kind of like, to you, well, uh, I would say pretty much, I don't know, maybe even a Joseph, but you got your you got your helmet on, right? Joseph. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So to the three of you, uh, these things are basically matte black. They do not reflect light. However, to Kiki, they kind of like bioluminescence shine bright, like a diamond. As you look at this uh, shadow hound that is in front of you, you have one turn and uh, before everything fucking goes south, what do you do? I like to Kiki, imagine yeah. Kiki does know what they are since she did see the corpses. Uh, back at the bunker? Mm hmm. You feel very. <sighs> How do I say this? You feel very close to these. At home? At home, like they are, well, your siblings in a way. Like you were related, okay. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Can I make a charisma check? Yeah. 
and just kind of try to hug it. <laughs> the bright side, I can regenerate. Bet you can. I want to make it clear, I will not be trying to stop her. <laughs> I'm not getting close to that thing. Lucky she went first. Oh, um, that's Whoa. minus that 10, <clears throat> that they're not human. 12. <clears throat> Alright. Damn mutants in your biologically similar. Alright, it looks at you. How do you approach this shadow hound? Tell me. Tell us. Um, she moves slowly, but like a child approaching a family member, essentially. Does that make sense? So just walking with determination towards them, but like in a yeah, like non her scent, her vibe, everything about her is like not threatening. Can't yeah, there's no need to feel. There's no need to rush or be cautious with the paces, you know. Yeah. It allows you to approach <clears throat> as you reach to this large, strong beast and give it a hug. Surprisingly, as you all are staring, literally staring at a shadow hound, they do not attack and they do not rip you to shreds. They seem to actually take a step back away from all of you. I, she's I have so creepy, a, she's scared of the hounds. I have a fun idea, but you guys might not like it. Uh, um, I'm now scared. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... If they're not getting in our way, I'm gonna carry on moving towards the spire. Um, she points towards the spire. Can you help me? Can you help us by bringing oh, there? I see what you're doing. Yeah, right. The eagles will take, <laughs> take us to Mount Doom. This one that's in front of you, Kiki, that you hug, <clears throat> kind of looks at you. It looks towards the others. Uh, and while you all are riding yourselves, they quickly, well, they quickly fucking run off. Disappearing without a sound. This one kind of like almost bows to you, Kiki. Turns and disappears as well. You have a feeling that they will aid you getting to the spire without incident. Just waves goodbye <laughs> in that innocent fashion. Alright, Jerry, keep going. I picked myself up off the ground. I wasn't scared. You're scared. Let's go. <laughs> I say, I think it, I need a change of trousers. Like shaking. Yeah, give me bravery checks, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair enough. I mean, I, I gonna, these are the bring, these are, Yeah, these are bringers of the fucking death in the desert. So, I mean, even for desert dwellers, these things are known to just. Yeah. These all plus the bravery. Yep. I just gotta look at Cypher. You don't wanna know my secret is? I stopped wearing underwear a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, um, didn't in Baldrick used to take them and snort something out of them? I take uh, my I underpants off like a uh, Zoolander. <laughs> no, I keep them on. I keep them. Um, Joseph. Yep. Uh, you gotta do a bravery check too. Uh, sorry, repeat what you just said? Uh, a bravery check for everyone, since you just encountered bravery. shadow hands, even for desert dwellers. Be... Well, especially for you, because you know, like, these things are no joke. And the fact that you faced one down, you know, yeah, anyways, give me a bravery check. Bravery, hang on, I need to find more bravery. <laughs> you roll a nine. Where? 12. You had a roll of 12 on that. Yeah. Even if I did, I think I would still technically have a, a plus 15 to it. Oh, you would have been alive. I would have. Yeah, I'm alright. 
Yeah, all right, I would say you guys are aware of fully what happened and how close you came to death. Uh, however, you're still alive, so congratulations. The howling you don't hear anymore as you continue towards Spire 11. Uh, do you guys say, do anything else on the way? We don't die. That's yeah. that's the plan. Okay. Uh, we that's might, important. We might have life. shadow hounds clearing our way for us. Uh, there is nothing else that happens on the way to Spire. Uh, however, once you get closer, all of your comms suddenly chirp. Do you uh, I'll, I'll answer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was trying to contact me out here. Okay. <clears throat> a message appears, and a female's voice reads the message. Welcome to Spire 11. It stands as a memorial in remembrance to all those that lost their lives here, and in the fight against pure evil. We will never forget the sacrifices that were made, and we will never forget what happened here. Spire 11 will always stand, not as a beacon of sorrow, but one of hope. Oh wow, the episode title really is appropriate. That's what I'm saying. And the message ends. The voice unfamiliar to all of you. Right, okay, well, I'm not going to stop. I'm still going to continue. He, you know. Yep. <clears throat> I tried to message back. You're sir, are you still riding Kevin? Yeah. He loves to ride Kevin. You're, you're a, yeah, feel free. What would you like to do? You get no response with whatever you send, but what do you send? That's what we all want to know. Um, who are you, lady? Uh, you get no reply. You're assuming uh, I'm not going to need intelligence yet. But since it came up at the same time for all of you, that's probably some kind of automated message or system. To be fair, Kiki has been talking with a lot of AIs lately. She has. She has. Oh, but You've you get been infected. As you approach Wild Aspire in front of you, it looks like that. The sun has set. Uh, the comms went off. You approach the spire's skirt. The skirt covered with sand and appearing heavily damaged. How would you like to proceed? As it looks like there's only a few ways into this massive structure stretching, well, almost 3,000 meters above you. I guess let's enter the front door. Um, so, how many? Yeah, I want to see what other entrances we have as potential. Don't we have a map? This place? So, yeah, this is your map right here. That's, that's, that's what you get. Uh, yeah, I would say you do. From what it, you are looking at, it looks like over the time, the sandstorms has covered a lot of the skirt. Uh, uh, much of the building's cladding is missing or just damaged in some way. Uh, and appearingly, there looks like a lot of debris around it. Any lower entrances that you might have typically gone through uh, when it was normal are inaccessible. Your best bet is to walk up the skirt towards this upper area here, hopefully finding an open area where you can get into one of the three towers You guys are like down here. So sand covered everything, debris. Where would you like to go? I guess they're walking around. up in such a place. I use the drones, dude. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it's never a bad idea, is it? Yeah, I uh, use the. Four drones. Can I like have them go off in multiple directions? That doesn't make me feel sick, does it? No. Nope, does it have like do split that. screen? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, I send I send the four drones going around searching for uh, ways in and any potential threats. Have you guys seen Prometheus? Aliens? 
Yes. You remember when those drones went through and like mapped? Yeah. That's kind of what's going on right now. So they're they're literally oh, yes. mapping the structure, looking for entrances. Uh, so so like I said, what they're showing you pretty much, uh, most of the skirt is covered. Mind you, the skirt. Uh, what does it say there? It's like two kilometers around, like the actual building itself. Uh, and if you read that, it's for weight, but it's also whatever. It's a bunch of stuff. We'll get to that. Uh, it looks like there are ways up here that will be you'll be able to enter the spire, which means climbing the skirt, which is not at this big a high angle. I mean, it's it's climbable to get up there, but that looks like your only way in at this point in time. Well, I'm I'm going to go in through the only entrance that we can find then. I mean, if you want, I could try to get up in another way through with my teeth, but it might take a bit. How many bad guys in this? No, there's no bad guys about, is there? No, not, not yet. Nothing we it's know not... of. No, let's not waste that upon us. Um... I mean, if we all go in together now, that would cut the risk of wildlife, etc. Yep. I'm down, I say we do it. Okay, my character starts heading in then. Oh, I got a torch. If we find an area that looks like <clears throat> it's an access, I can cut through the wall. Alright, you all start to ascend the skirt. Oh, yeah. Okay, I guess. Okay. Uh, once again, you all have audible dampers. There's no, like, special sensitivity for you mutants, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I do have sensitivity, but I am covered up in my suit, so I'll be alright. Alright, so you are, in essence, nullified. Uh, I need a luck check from all of you. My luck is eight, so... Ooh. <laughs> my luck is almost as high as yours with bonuses. <laughs> Oh, okay. You were lucky today, not like last time. Okay. Yes. Perfect. <clears throat> As you start to ascend up the large or towards the spire, um, walking up its skirt, you hear, well, an audible, like, creaking and groaning. The superstructure underneath you obviously is stressed. I'm being a little stressed. I think I'm going to stress this <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I've got one. Hold on. No, I don't need that all added. You're fine. You're fine. All right. I find the rarest resource. <laughs> you are the first one to see something unusual sticking out of the sand ahead of you. Something that reminds you of a heavy weapons platform. The end of a uh, cannon. What do you do? Uh, I get PTSD. <laughs> Give me a bravery uh, check. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, fair enough. That's, I just didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was coming. But it's good RP anyway, so. It was, that's good. All right. Yeah, you see something, it uh, looks like a cannon sticking out of said sand. I mean, there's once is again... This between, is this between where we are and where we're heading? Or yes. like just out? So, yep. Okay, shit. Uh, I immediately alert the others to spotting that, and I say, Guys, I think that looks like a, another heavy use weapon platform. Let's I do not it. want to deal with that. Let's, let's reassess our route. Uh, you can all give me... What was that last check? Luck. Luck. You can all give me perception checks this time. We collectively rolled a 63, though. Mm -hmm. uh, slightly perceptive. Got a 12. Nice. Oh, Wait, this makes perfect sense. I'm on top. I got yeah. a in my eyes, guys. <laughs> yeah, your hands are like over Kevin. Uh, eyes. Kevin, you can move where I reject too. Alright, 
Kevin stops. Uh, you do not want to go on. However, from your vantage point, Kiki, and your knowledge of the heavy weapons platforms, this one looks like it's not weighing in late that it is possibly disabled. As you are able to, well, you have a better view than the rest because you're up high, I guess. Are you on his shoulders? Where are you? Yeah. Yeah, so from well, like your a, vantage Like a point, child at a fair. Yeah, so to see uh, you get a v better view of this thing, which makes complete sense. So Kevin just stops in his tracks. He's like, fuck this. However, you, you notice that it looks like that whatever this happy weapons platform is, it's not active like the last one. This thing is definitely, well, a ruin or a memory of sorts. Um, I would let them know that. And this is alarming. I think one of my friends got hacked. Oh. The very moment you said that. Considering they sent me a strange link for a Discord that says free news, TikTok news. Where? Nice. Send the link. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh. They, can you send the link so I know what to avoid? It's clear considering they did an at everyone and at here in DMs. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds. All right. You all Dutch. stop. Everyone roll a d12. But I do let them. Initiative or detour? Uh, just do initiative. Same Fuck. thing. Right? Okay, well, uh, get into the details. Oh, oh. Sakes. Actually, let's, <laughs> let's, do, let's do the initiative. Let's do the initiative. Yeah, right. I did do the initiative. Just so was like, haha, fuck y'all. Out of 12. Oh, damn. All right. This is how this is going down because there were there was a one before. So wait, so am I redoing as an initiative? Oh uh, yeah, go ahead. I'll let you. I'll allow it. Okay. Kevin. Uh, oh did you... fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That'll learn oh, you. Oh my lord. Are you all? Where are you all? Is this the right order of events? I would like to see where everyone is. You're on top of Kevin. Oh my lord. Wow. Right. Where were you guys? I can't cheat that. Were you guys behind? Uh, I can't really. Remember. No, I was. I was. I was in the front, wasn't I? You were up you... ahead, and then we were just. Yeah, you went ahead. All right. Is that how we reformed? That's fine. That's I don't know. We were Whatever. This is perfect. Right. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. All right. As uh, Kiki says, that it looks like the heavy weapons platform is non-functional. Joseph, you're the first one to see that it is definitely not. Uh, it looks to be an archaic ruin. When there is a sudden groaning. And well, the roof starts to collapse. Uh, I need the three uh, unfortunate individuals back here to just give me a speed check. Can I use my arm thread to try to hook something real quick? Uh, give me a speed check, and I will let you know. <laughs> oh, I, I assume I'm like a distant hint with someone talking. Oh yeah, yeah, you're on his. Yep. No, you can give me a speed check though too. All right. Actually. Speed. God damn it. Got another twelve. <laughs> All right. I I got this, another twelve. This is yeah, <laughs> no, no, and a one. All right. <laughs> the roof, oh, no. or you hear the groaning of the skirt behind uh, beneath you. Suddenly, the floor gives away, or the ground. I'll, I'll call it the ground. The ground gives away, and you feel yourselves falling. Kiki, you are able to grab hold of the side as Kevin and Cipher fall. I jump off of Kevin. Pushing Whatever you want. Down. You got a 12. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, you pushed him further. You're accelerating. Uh, now I need Kevin and, and Cypher to give me a look, Jack. Remember, Cypher, this you're is at like a the... negative two disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm containing that. That's all right. It's perfect. At least. All right. Just don't I've, get a I've one. pre minus. That's all right. I mean, all right. <clears throat> all right. And you two fall. Kiki, uh, you are holding onto the edge. Joseph, you see this. I'll go over and grab her quick and pull her up. All right. There is a large opening where sand is cascading down uh, <clears throat> as the two have disappeared into the skirt. What are the Reach two on top down do? Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Can we actually see where they've fallen to? <clears throat> uh, perception check. 
All right. Do you have night vision? Are you using your eagle yeah, eyes? Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got, um, I've got eagle eyes and I've got the uh, suit. So, okay. hang on. Yeah, I have natural night vision. Perception eleven. <laughs> I like how for that series of natural twelve, bitches. Oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, the mutants are just on fire today. You, you are able to pull Kiki up. Uh, before she falls down. Are you though? Hold on. Would you roll? Oh Respect. come on, Did seriously, man. Of course I am. That's fine. All right, you're able to get her. I'll say she. You roll a twelve, Kiki. You're fine. Uh, he is able to pull you up as the two of you peer down, and you see probably I don't know. It's like twenty meters below you. Uh, the drop, however, is more than that. As you look down, you see both Cipher and Kevin laying on a catwalk. At least. Well, it appears to be 50 meters above the ground in a large space. From what you gather and from what you know of the skirt, it looks like they fell into one of the ag, drone, uh, ag domes, agricultural drones. Uh, fortunately, they were caught by the catwalk and didn't fall all the way. Both of you can take 1d12 health, the ones that fell. Um, Joseph, do you want to try to find? Can I minus two off this as well? No. <laughs> oh, of course. Not. Now I roll high. Now I roll high. Let's try those, Cypher. Oh, <laughs> oh you add. It did three. say minus two off everything. So. You're, you're right. I did. Didn't he, didn't he add three due to the fact that he already has an injury? I, I know. His, he was alright. His luck is. He didn't land on his arm. He landed on his back. Whatever. <laughs> That's uh, got a yeah, the two of you find yourself on a catwalk. If you have night vision, you look around, you are in an expansive space. Uh, you look down, you see sand and debris on the floor below you. And interesting things, it's not quite like the bloom, but you see stalks of dead things. I would say the stalks made it. Definitely. Above you, about 30 meters, you see an opening of where you fell. Was it 30 meters? I don't know. 10 meters? Uh, uh, 20 meters down onto the catwalk and then 50 meters more below us. I think is what you said. Was it? Also, do know, you want to find weird. another way in or jump down with them? Um, I, I don't want to risk uh, just jumping down. That, <clears throat> that's quite a distance. Plus, um, we'll need to weigh power? up anyway, so I think it is worth having a look around for an entrance down. Okay. Um, Sorry, quick uh, thing uh, with health. Uh, mm -hmm. The uh, when I was healed last time, did that heal my health back, yep. or did it just stop the? Okay. Yeah, the advanced, advanced med kit goes all the way up the full. Okay, nice. Okay, I was just minusing health off, and I was like, hey, I'm going to be in bad shape. Sorry, carry, carry on, guys. Sorry. But yeah, I'll walk over to Cipher, and uh, like, hey, uh, this is gonna be awkward, but uh, ho hold on to me. And I'm gonna grab him with one arm. I don't wanna use my arm thread to try to hit the top and pull us back up. Give me a tackle. Uh, <clears throat> Imagine if he just tight. grabs uh, <laughs> Joseph and pulls him down too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't roll a one, so no. <clears throat> didn't. All right. You know that scene in Batman where he's going up and it stops? And you're like, how much do you weigh? Wait, which Batman? I don't remember what movie, but Original that's one of them. With Adam West? Uh, yeah, you start, no, uh, uh, Michael. Never mind, I can't think. Anyways, all right. Uh, six, what's your hit probability? Tell me it's six. I think it is at our level. Uh... Yeah, you guys are pretty high. I think you're six, right? Okay. Two, Mine's six. twelve plus one. Wait, what? That's what are I you trained down. in that skill? <coughs> hit prob. And what's your hit probability? Twelve plus one. <clears throat> what level six. are you? Five, but my experience is seven and three two, so I know it's. So like your hit probability at level five is six. So yeah, you hit it. He didn't quit it. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, Joseph, as you say that, a fucking thread comes up and dinks, like, right by your, between your legs. Or, you know, right, right underneath where the roof is. Uh, Kevin, you start to pull yourself and Cypher up. 
However, it's slow uh, as he's got a little more weight than the thread is designed. I'm going to need a luck check from you. Did I give him a hand? I'm not very strong, but I might be able to help him. Eddie. Here's my, here's my check. Oh. oh, well, that's <laughs> so good. All right. So the roof above you does not cave, uh, dropping Joseph in with you and you guys falling. Uh, it, is, it is able to stay together as you thread up with the help. We'll say even Joseph gives you an assist. Uh, there is some groaning of the structure below your feet, Joseph, for a moment, which troubles you. However, it stays together and they are pulled up out of the abyss. Okay. Always a good sign. Not being in an abyss. Right, okay. Well, we need to find a way down or in or something. Shall we continue? Uh, sure. You can continue going up, or I could try to lower everybody down on the thread, and we can go down. I prefer to go up at the moment. All right. Let's do Because the item we're looking for is... Well, the person we're looking for is up, potentially up, isn't she? Well, maybe. Right, well, I think up is better. We can always come back down again. Yep, yeah, I'm in agreement. We'll probably come down quick, too. <laughs> right, okay. <clears throat> all right, you are all headed up towards the structure for the spire. Wait, are we back up on the skirt now? You are. Yes, they got you back on the skirt. <laughs> Lovely. Sorry, you're back on the skirt. Uh, and you continue up the skirt towards the towers. The heavy weapons platform does not activate and is definitely, well, a relic from the past. You see a few more on your way up the skirt as you finally find a way to enter the spire through its damaged cladding. Mind you, uh, it was a trek as there was a lot of debris. I need everyone to roll a strength check. <clears throat> strength check. That was my strength. I think my strength, strength. is all right, actually. Oh, no, my strength isn't. Fuck it. Ooh. Cypher with one Ooh, arm. We got a one on 12. Oh, I've got a feeling this is going to really hurt later. All right. Well... Uh, All my with, energy. with those 12s, that one, uh, especially since you're probably still being carried, are you still on his back? So I going? would have gone back on his back the moment yep. he got All right. up. Yeah. So your strength doesn't matter, thus the ones. Uh, as you all find, uh, it take, you have to move some debris and stuff, but you find a way into the structure's cladding. And you are in one of the three towers that consist of Spire 11. That's where we'll leave it. Goodbye. <clears throat> All right. Bye. Uh, I'm just saying. I mean, good cliffhanger. I know. Oh, there's going to be a lot of them. Don't worry. All right. You are in one, once again, the tower. The spire is made of, of three sections, and you are in one of them. What it looks like to you is a large residential area. That's the only way to describe it. As there is a single corridor... Oh, I should have made a map for you guys of how the spire is. All right, as you enter the cladding, there is probably a 10 meter wide garden. And then there looks like there's residences. However, the residences are inside of a large portion of the tower. The residences are two stories tall with space above them. And then it terminates and it looks like it goes on to the next level. The levels look like, well, there's quite some distance between them. As you look around at the debris on the floor and the sand, the broken cladding. You look for a way up. Where would you like to go? Are there any, is there any indication of stairs or? Or an elevator or something? Uh, yeah, can uh, I use the drones? To like map up ahead, or do we already have a map up ahead? Oh no! You okay, yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to send the drones out. To... No, give me a straight G12. This is basically how much time it's going to save you. <clears throat> All right. Not much. They start 
to scan and, well, yeah, scan the level that you're on. It looks like a lot of it, once again, has been damaged. There's been sand that has pushed its way in. It looks like a lot of the elevators and stairwells are impassable, filled with sand or debris from the upper structure. However, the drones finally find one that you might be able to climb. As you make your way towards it, you see a pair of, well, slightly open doors that lead into the elevator shaft. Uh, okay, well, I'll take a look. I won't shove my head in and watch it get sliced off by the falling elevator, but I will have a look. From what you have seen so far, it looks like there is no power in the building. Nothing is active. There are no hollow screens. There are no operating doors. Nothing is functioning. Uh, as you take a gander into the elevator shaft, it looks pretty dark. You know, if you didn't have night vision, which you all pretty much do. So, uh, as you look up and down it, it looks like it is pretty clear. Below looks like it is filled with, like I said, sand or debris. But you can access the ladder and make it up. Well, who knows how many levels? We'll find out. But it looks like that is one of your only ways thus far that you have found to climb the tower. Um, okay, I'm going to grab Kevin's hair and try to grab the two of him. Oh, uh, he's got a full helmet on. Yeah, yeah, you're like just massaging my helmet. I can't even fool you. I mean, you can give me a strength uh, chat versus his helmet if you want. But... It's, that's a level five helmet. It's the only yeah. level five armor I own. <laughs> yeah, not, no. No, you can't find I a way in. Do. Sorry. Shrink. Yeah, Kevin, you got like tentacles in front of you on your face mask. Just wipe them away. Are the you cables? Don't have any hair. It is turning into. Hair. It is turning into Prometheus. Tentacles. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. It appears the lift or the elevator is uh, well above you. You see no cables. By the way, this is the future. There are no fucking cables. Everything's levitation. Just making sure, make sure. Hey, Cypher, can you maybe I, I, like try to hack into it and power this thing? Say that. Like, yes, splice I, I, a power pack into it or something. Um, yeah, it's gonna need more than a power pack to power the um, lifts. Um, can I, is there like any control panels or like obvious power sources that I can try and like uh, jimmy into? Well, there is you know, the uh, the. The door pad for the, or the elevator pad, yes. <clears throat> okay, I want to see if there's a way to hack and you know put power back into this area at least for the so we can get up. Uh, give me a hacking check. Come on, this is where we need 12. Yeah, I need to ch so it's intelligence plus my hacking but minus two. Okay, it's still, it's still strong, but it's slightly dampened. Oh. Damn. <clears throat> I'm guessing that was close. Or not. <laughs> oh, the three, that's high. Holy shit. I'm going to have to change some things. Anyways, no, it's fine. Um, all right. You start to do your magic one-handed. I mean, I've got a lot of points into my hacking, so... You did, so no, that's perfect, though. That's, that program building is going to be amazing. All right, you work on it. Uh, give me an intelligence check. Straight intelligence system. You can hack the system fine. My mind. I should have just used that. Uh, but yeah, it, once again, it's unpowered. Mm -hmm. You need a power source. <clears throat> Ooh, um, I have an idea. Don't you use plant life cartridges. Oh, yeah. Kiki, you, you, you seem to... Uh, make some magic out of those before this. Uh, let's uh, see if we can fashion up some more. And I can. I'm only going to do it one more because I. This is my main gun, and I. Yeah. Had yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since I had nine before I started, and currently I have seven. <laughs> I need an intelligence check from Kiki. 
Um, can I get some assistance from Cypher? Yeah. I'm shagging things. I'm I, do, <laughs> I do a, a mind meld. Uh, so wait, am I rolling straight intelligence? As no, well? you're just giving her a bonus. Uh, okay, nice. <clears throat> I'm going to say with that, <clears throat> that's not going to be enough. You're... What you did at the executive chamber was different. This is not a nanite based system. Uh, and the plasma cell that you're trying to use is not compatible with the Spire's system. Ooh, the Spire, once again, if you read all this, they use photovoltaic cladding and gills to produce energy. Oh, essentially. Uh, we've got to wait sunlight. until tomorrow. We've got to wait for the sun to come up, yeah. But if we don't, wouldn't fusion energy technically work? You could probably use another form of energy, a power pack, or a power cell, yeah. if anyone has one. Uh, but your plasma is not going to cut it. Ooh, um, what if, if I try to make my stun baton into one? That could possibly work. If you'd like to give um, me another intelligence check. Um, can I also have the help since I'm technically making a weapon into something else? You're going to need a 24. Yes, yeah, so yep, yeah, so I can give you a hand. Yep, you can. Okay. I'm going to say uh, you were just rolling a straight 19 with help from Cypher. Uh, the two of you were able to, uh, yeah, modify the weapon. The weapon is no longer functioning, though. That's fine. I've never really used it. You will lose the weapon, <clears throat> but you modify it and the elevator activates. Mind you, this took about like 10 minutes, we'll say. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, while that's happening, I'm keeping an eye out for any bad guys. <clears throat> I've got my crossbow out. Give me a perception check. Yeah, and I'll be looking down opposite of... You can give me a perception check, too. Uh, yeah, the downside of this is I didn't have power packs to recharge it, so Wait, I didn't want ever use for it. No, they, um, right. If there was Whatever something I there, said... you would have seen it, uh, Joseph, not you. Hey. What's that, Kiki? Remember how I said that ha hacked friend? I'm currently getting that on spam. Oh, <clears throat> it's getting Lock. really annoying. Lock. All right. <clears throat> the elevator activates. And the doors start to shut. Or they do shut as the elevator comes down and locks into place. Doors opening and you see a brightly lit elevator. Uh, amazingly, there's only a little bit of sand in it. Do you enter and ascend? Yep. I think so, yeah. As Kiki's far up really, as it will go. Yeah, Kiki's really showing what she's capable of with this arc. All right, you all step into the elevator, I think. All of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get back on Kevin's shoulders. Uh, okay. Uh, is the elevator tall enough for that? You're like touching the ceiling, but... I mean, if it starts falling, I can open the hatch on top and just climb out. It says it's a hatch. <clears throat> Anyways, alright. Uh, Kevin, you let her get back on your so shoulders. Kiki climbs up you like you're a jungle gym, like my niece does. I think Kevin's used to it at this point. Okay, you climb back on Kevin. As the doors shut, you have, uh, yeah, what level are you pressing? Once again, there are 500 fucking, like, 20, 569 floors in this building. Uh, I want to say you're probably on, like, 50 climbing up the skirt. Okay. Um, Kiki's going to reach up with her tentacle and hit. <laughs> Anyone? Top floor. Anyone? Oh god. Mm -hmm. Wait, sorry. Yeah, unless someone's no. gonna stop us, it's tend to go slow. But Joseph said he we were going to the top floor, so I just assumed he'd already hit that button. I alright, out of out of game for a second. Doing? I assumed somebody was gonna be like stop her because she's gonna hit every fucking button again. But that's Oh no, I was yeah, no, no, I no, was a hundred percent gonna do that. Sorry, no, I, I zoomed <laughs> out for a second. I missed that. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, I, I, I want to stand in between her and the person. Oh, so no, but sure she's hitting the top button. She's taking right. this seriously. She okay, hits the good. uppermost floor. 
uh, as it dings and you all start to ascend. The, uh, actually, the elevator music actually starts to work. No, there is no fucking elevator oh. music. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say, you still have that I have, yeah, it's I've, very quiet yeah, right now. Master. You wish there was um, elevator music. Or I have a funny hey, idea. I have my master copy that I downloaded. If you want it awesome. to be, you want to throw in some plot, just have it be Kiki singing for some reason in an eerie town. Oh, yeah, no, no, you finally actually picked it up off the ground after you <laughs> basically seemed very yeah, like, unenthused. Uh, elevator music is an old, it's something Kiki did once before. It's just her singing like a nursery rhyme in a creepy tone. Oh. Does right. it have to be creepy? <laughs> on, on your way up the elevator, is there anything anyone wants to do? How long is it? Because I want to know if I can. Is it eight hours? Because then I can level up a skill. Sorry. It's not, not an eight I would hour like trip. To... Throw it's around very to my to see if I can get connection somewhere. I'm just going to be nursing my arm. Because I want this to be back to back to working order. Okay. Uh, Joseph, That's anything you're doing? No, I'll just follow the rest of the guys. Okay. Kevin? Same. Alright. Have uh, I got anything? What? Alright, no, you can give me a, a d12 if you want, but... Actually, I'm gonna take a knee and, and have... What rifle did I bring with me? You got nothing, sorry. Yeah, have my, have my 12 gauge at the ready. So if there's anything violent on the other end of that door when it opens, I'm ready to fire. Okay. That's great. All right. The elevator ascends. And right there, I need a moment. We're going to take a quick five-minute break, get tea, get a drink, and then we're going to go as the doors start to open. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Two minutes. Yep. Yeah. Two minutes. All right. yeah, now I'm going to go.
think we're still recording too. Yeah, we are. That's good. I'm happy with it. All right. You ascend up the spire uh, from level 50 heading towards 569. The elevator eventually stops as it appears that, well, the uh, shaft is blocked. There appears to be a barrier in place. As it stops and the doors start to open, you see nothing. It appears you have stopped on one of the many rings that the spire has. Did you all read the what the spire has for levels and rings or no? Uh, no, wait, let me see. Okay. Uh, maybe you can't read it. It's fine. I'll just tell you. We'll do this. We'll do a narration. Oh, okay. The, the ring, once again, you all have research the spire. You were at Liviosa's. You had plenty of time to whatever to figure this out. The rings all connect. The rings connect the three towers. They are shared spaces, three stories tall, uh, and they house basically shops. They house schools. They house infirmaries. They are pretty much shared spaces. Uh, they strengthen the tower. Yeah, that's it. They strengthen tower in their shared spaces. As yeah. the elevator stops, opens up to the first floor on three. Uh, once again, they are pretty tall. They're probably about 10 meters of floor. There are different level levels. It's tiered. I'm trying to think of the best thing. It's kind of like Deep Space Nine. You know the promenade? Anyone watch Deep Space Nine? Yeah. It's like yeah. the promenade there, but bigger. Uh, as I there are shops and stuff. Uh, you are all in, currently in the elevator as the lights start to flicker and dim. The power source having run out as well. Um, I only have one of those. I think I have one for spare. So if you need it, I can mm. add an energy cell, maybe. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, we'll, we can only get as far as this on the lift anyway, so yeah. let's see if we can find some stairs from here. I mean, it it can go <laughs> higher if we hit a barrier. Yeah, so... Which it opens the question, why is the barrier active? Oh, is it a physical barrier or like a, you know, technological so, barrier? Good question. I'm imagining energy. From your um, experience, once again, I'm not going to like intelligent checks here. You guys have pretty much like done your research on the spire. They are built to have these large fire barriers, uh, which can be closed to seal off sections of the spire so that fire does not spread or contagions. So if there is an epidemic you know, zombies, whatever, they're not going to get past these barriers. So that appears to be what has been done. So the section above you appears to have been shut. However, from your research and what has happened in the past, it could still, it could be something from when that happened, when the, well, inhabitants of Spire 11 were killed. Uh, when they were unalived. Unalived, yeah. yes. When they were knifed. When they were... Yes. I don't think they were knifed. No, they were uh, put in the basement. Knifed. Anyways. Alive. Uh, you're all standing. Yeah, you're looking out into one of the rings. It would be dark except for all your specialized sighting and mutation. Yeah, specialized. Mm -hmm. And my torch. Um, Kiki would jump off Kevin's head and start looking around. Let's go shopping. Is there uh, an armor or weapon store nearby? Yeah. Is this all looted and trashed, or is this, like, you know, uh, like, dead in time? All right. <clears throat> it is dead in time. It is Ooh. a mall from the past. There are no weapon stores to be seen, as there were no weapons in the Spire, uh, except for security, and you are not on a security level. Uh, there was no armor, unless you were security and you were on security level. You basically see, like, H&M remnants of, like, clothes. And mind you, the clothes have been sitting on the racks for a very long time. Yeah, they're moth-eaten and moldy and falling apart. And... Well, uh, yeah, but not because it's desert, so there's no... Things don't, it like... It's just dusty. It's just dusty. Yeah, things do not... It, nothing disappears in... That's... Yeah, nothing disappears out Ooh. here in the desert. We so can you get see, some vintage, uh, look, vintage strip. And there are some things that are in pretty good shape. I mean, yeah, you're looking at a dry atmosphere. Nothing has, like, is disintegrating. 
it's literally been preserved because of the air. Uh, it looks like some of the cladding on the building, yes, the winds whip through, and there is batches of sand and stuff, but not so much in the stores as, once again, there's like a central promenade and the stores off to the sides. Uh, there appears to be cafes where you see, you know, everything in the spire is meant to be recycled and reusable, so you see uh, plates still on some of the tables that have not been knocked over and even glasses and stuff. Uh, so yeah, there is a bunch of different shops though. They, you do not see like, it's not consumerist. The spires were definitely not consumerist. There is no branding. There are no signs anywhere. There is no flashy, like gaudiness. Uh, is, are there simple t-shirts saying I was at Spire 11 and all I got <laughs> was this t-shirt? <laughs> We, we me, can make some. You know what? Give me a luck check for that. How about that? Yeah, no, okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely... Because if I'm taking that, that's definitely a souvenir. <laughs> yeah. We're looking for definitely a gift shop. a souvenir, mate. Um, while they're looking around for that, Kiki walked off. <laughs> oh, again. Bye, All right. Kiki. No, this is definitely... that never goes wrong. These are not tourist... Uh, they do not allow, like, tourism. So, no, you do not find that. Sorry. Uh, Kiki starts uh, oh. to take off. Is there anything you guys are looking for as the food? Yes. Yeah, is there... It's deteriorated. Maybe you'll find some protein blocks still. Um, bottled... Oh. Is there any bottled water or cans or... You know what? You will find that in this. There are cafes and stuff. I mean, there's like back areas. Would you like to go start rummaging through them? Are there any like... Uh... Oh, sorry. Let me... Um, I should mention Kiki is walking off to find an information desk. Uh, give me an intelligence check for that. Oh no, my luck just ran out. <laughs> There's the one. I got no t-shirts. So I mean, at least you use it up for that. Yeah, there are no fucking t-shirts to it. Nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you. She's had a brain fart. Oh, she's gone. What? Who? What's uh, to be that? Fair, she is very This is all new to her, and she's very concerned about her mother. So. Um, I want to look for like a hardware equipment. Uh, you know, I want to see if they've would they have like a hobbyist, like you know, climbing gear shop, like a hmm. decathlon or something. Uh, would they? I'm trying to see if there's like any useful equipment that we can or hardware that we can get. All right. Uh... Unfortunately, not in the spire. From which, speaking, okay. so what they do have is you know there is an emergency egress system that works both ways to go up and down the spire. So, in your search for climbing gear or whatnot, you do find some of the shoes, the magnetic shoes, oh, which, okay. which can be used to ascend or descend said spire. However, these points are on the outside of the cladding that might be damaged. So you're not sure, but uh, you do find a couple of these shoes, uh, and they. But once again, they're magnetic, so they work by reversing them in their shoe or in the mm -hmm. slot. So you can either ascend or descend depending on where you want to go. It was one of many systems that the spires had. I know it's amazing. Think about it. Anyways, that's what you do find. Uh, you do not find. Actually, give me give me a fucking D12. Give me a D12. Everyone else. D12. Right. Nope. Just do D12s. I like D12s. Eight. Uh, yeah, no, that's not good enough. Ben. Uh, should I give you a D12? You still don't find your shirt. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Well, with that, you do not find an information booth. There are none. Once again, this is not a tourist spot. There is no, like... Yeah. What? an information desk. Yeah, whatever. A, a desk. What did I say? I know what you were looking for. Booth. You, no, your booth, a desk, same thing. Uh, you do find a console. Once again, future. Console. The spires are very high tech. And it catches your eye because it flickers. As if it's got some sort of power source. You can go uh, up to that one. If you run. Run. Yeah. yeah, she's going to run up to it and try to fiddle with it. Okay. What would you like to do with this? Uh, specifically to see if I can get a map or... I want to see what's active on it, what's powering it, essentially. 
Okay, it looks like the power is coming from a secondary system, uh, not the photovoltaic cladding, but one of its, uh, I guess, splines or gills, if you want to call it. The power is limited, however, as the gills have not been cleaned and it only has minimal power. You can kind of see a map of the spire. However, it keeps, bl you know, it's blinking in and out. It's not stable at all, and it's hard to make heads or tails of it. Uh, and I take a video recording of it using my comm terminal. You can. That way, so I can essentially pause it when it's on. Yep. <clears throat> Look at Kiki being smart about it. Okay, you do that, and you have a, uh, yeah, you have the t spire. The map of the spire. Pretty much this. That's what you got right there. Yeah. Like, I was thinking internal map, so we can at least yeah, find yeah. a way up beyond the... Yeah, you now have all the elevators, the uh, stairwells, uh, and the ways up and down the spire. Um, before they runs out of power, she's going to try to switch up Azure in, with the terminal itself. Alright, you get no return. As the power dies out and the console goes dark. And uh, the only thing she sees is a reflection in the Her screen. glowing, glowing reflection, yes. She's always glowing. Kevin, what are you doing? I was with the other two guys. All right. What else are you three doing? Besides causing Whoa. Um, I'm well. I'm assuming that with these gravity boots, I'm gonna uh, do them out to the others. Yeah. So. Hold on to. How do I describe this? So the the shoes slide into are they like the attachments to it yeah so the shoe has a a set amount of cable in it which attaches to your like suit your armor most of you have pretty high armor so it, there's attachment points because future uh but the shoes themselves sit in the slots on the outside and go up and down or even oh so they're the elevator, fixed Sean. in where they are they're yeah. not like you can walk around okay, okay. Yo, no 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 you see. can no no you can walk with them I mean, they're portable, so you can bring them to a different oh, spot. But, but there's only like specific points where yes, they are. Yeah, so useful. you they're not okay. gonna be like anywhere in the spire. It's gonna be actually like in the elevator shafts, stairwells, and on the exterior cladding. You can use these, but they will get you okay. up and down without well using any energy. Okay. Uh, uh, the yeah, shoes I'll themselves, take... they're probably about 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters in size. What's the Weight, would you say? Uh, they're probably a, like a one or a two. We'll say they're like a two. Yeah, I just want to check if that puts me. Because once again, down. weight and, and you know that's the volume that they're going to take off is up is mm. like a two. Actually, it's if you will just say a one. A bit. Okay. No, a one's like a grenade, so two. Yeah, two. Thank you. Sorry. I uh, just crossed out. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I'll do that. I'd, that's all right. This um, is uh so what was it to be over encumbered again how many points over so if you're two points over it's going to lower your speed and whatever by one and then it's gonna, uh, your speed and exhaustion goes down by one and then another two points it's going to go down by another mm -hmm. one and your exhaustion is going to raise by one okay i can't carry them then <laughs> otherwise i'm going to be getting exhausted Really need your speed. I can't carry any more because I'm pretty much stacked as well. Because I've got a few weapons and I'm not. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll move them to a point where they can be used. So, in case of like an emergency or something of, you know, last resort, we can then go straight to putting them on and using them instead of lugging them around the uh, whole time. Are you doing interior or exterior? So there's exterior uh, access points, and then there's, like I said, interior, which is a stairwell or an elevator shaft. I was gonna say, I think we'll need them for the interior, uh, exterior, really, in case we gotta get off quick. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm moving mine to an exterior point. Somewhere that's, you know, 
easy to like run to or yeah. get to, you know. Okay. I will yeah. be in this, put mine in the same location. Likewise. All right, there is an exterior egress point that you guys lock your shoes into in emergency. Um, yeah, I put one good. in for Kiki as well, just Thanks. in case. Um, by the way, looking looking at the map, where can I see like the safest, most successful way up it would be currently? So, there are multiple, uh, I mean this structure is huge. So, there are multiple ways up and down it. Uh, where you're at is kind of like, you know, you're on the exterior, there are interior, interior elevator shafts and interior ways of ascending the structure, uh, which might be a little bit better since the exterior cladding is gone. Most of the sand probably has accumulated on that. Mm, yeah. I try to call Liviosa. You may roll for that. Uh, can I start heading back to the group? You can. Uh, you do not get through to Liviosa, and you can head back to the group. Um, on the way there, can I see if there's like a frame pet shop? A what? I I'm just like in like a robotic pet shop. I had a fun idea. Uh, yeah, give me another check for that. Yeah, if I could find one, I could te technically try to put Ruby in it. Oh shit, I completely forgot that we had the AI with us. Oh yeah! Oh, not you, <laughs> Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> Another 12! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you find oh, uh, pets at home things. shop. Well, it's not. <sighs> there are no pets. The spa... There are no pets in the spire. Even like. Alright. Alright, hold on. I was gonna say it's not really a pet. It's more like a it's, almost an artificial life form. So here's here's uh, what happens. Uh, I just find the love you also got body, don't I? Just yeah, you don't want to. <clears throat> um, since you got a twelve, I will tell you what you do find. Uh, there are no pets in the said spire, but you do find a. Uh, there are a lot of drones. There are delivery drones that operate. There, are, uh, there is a ton of drones that the spire has used as at one point. On your way back. Uh, to the group, you see a service area, and inside there are a number of drones. Uh, what kind of drone would you like to fit her in? Amazon, mm -hmm. Amazon delivery drone. Yeah, basically. <laughs> everything is, once um, again, reusable, recyclable. So, you find a drone. Yeah, is there a drone that could essentially act like a companion for... Oh, I want to say something small that essentially the... What could fit in that essentially act like a uh, pair of eyes for Ruby? I'm going like off. Like the, the fairy from uh, Zelda. All right. I'm going yeah. off game hey. for a second. <laughs> but I'm not, because if you read A Spire of Hope, you fucking realize how fucking amazing this is at the moment. Yes, you find a small spherical drone that the core, remember, she's in a core, can fit into. It's bigger than the reconnaissance drones. Kiki would try to set it up. Wait, uh, how big is the this spherical drone? Like, yeah. is it apple sized? Yeah. So, uh, what are cores? Ten centimeters? Is that right? Yeah. In uh, diameter. Yeah. It's like a Ruby. Drone. I okay. choose you. Okay. <laughs> so the drone itself is maybe I like be... fifteen centimeters mm -hmm. or whatever. Yes. Anyways, this core amazingly fits inside of it. God, this is great. I gotta get this book fucking published. Anyways, uh, all right, you're gonna work on that for a little bit though. It's gonna take you a couple of minutes to fucking. That's do fine. This. As the three of you are still outside looking for t-shirts. I'm looking for whiskey. No, now. we're not looking for t-shirts anymore. <laughs> Come on. You said no. I gave for, up. We're looking for spirits. What? What's Where is the liquor? bar? You do Hard find. Liquor. Once again, there are cafes. Uh, and there are some bars, yes. So, uh, you can, yeah, you find some booze. What kind of booze are you looking for? Oh my God, I would no. be looking for whiskey. Because he's not very good with booze. Give me a D12. Actually, is are there any cigarettes or cigars? Look at that one. 
Not many then. <laughs> I'm gonna look for some rum. Uh, you you don't find no booze, but you find a rabbit rat. Yeah, actually, give me a check there. Oh, uh, I wow. two, so I don't find much in the way of cigars. Nope. There's not a lot of smoking in God. Smoking. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Uh oh. Yep. Uh, Kevin oh, dies. Heart uh, attack. What the fuck have you done? Uh, no, no, that's not how it's gonna work. You see, he's looking for something. He's found something. He's just found something. He's not what is <laughs> the thing he's found is not what he wanted. Nope. In fact, it's nobody wanted it. You, you found, found a bottle. Activity. It appears to be whiskey. Do you drink it? <laughs> Go on. Dare you. In fact, I double dare you. I mean, with two ones, I'm going to say yes. You find I mean, something uh, that... Uh, uh, yeah, if you give me the choice, I know yeah. not to no. drink that. I'm going to say with two ones, <laughs> you find something that looks like whiskey. You drink it. <clears throat> We're not giving you a choice in this. Two ones? Now, nah, fuck off. This is someone's piss bottle. That, there's my homeless man constitution no. kick in. It's not, because he, he thinks, <laughs> oh, that's my favorite brand of whiskey. <laughs> There you go. Oh, oh shit. No, God. it's not. Whoops. It's a fucking absinthe. Shit. Oh, yeah. Starts you're going to see fucking shit. glowing fairies now. Uh, from now on, from the next... Yeah, you're at a negative two for whatever happens. It's good. Fuck. But you are at a negative two for whatever is going to happen next. Okay? Okay. Um, as as he, you smoke. walk out of the cafe <laughs> holding this bottle up, and you show it to the other guys. By the way, for you, it looks like it. You know, Ambrosia, how it glows this great, this uh, fucking glow, yeah, golden yeah. color. It looks to you right now. It looks like Ambrosia as you walk out with this bottle, showing it to uh, Joseph and Cipher. Guys, I felt some pretty good whiskey. Uh, I'm all right. I'm looking for some rum. I'm looking for some facts. Or cigars, I'm not fussy. So people don't yeah, remember the call. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. You guys are just getting drugs mm. and cigars while Kiki's making a friend. Like, yeah, what did I bears. find with my 12? I want to know what I found with my 12. What were you looking for again? Rum? You find rum? Uh, rum, yeah. Yeah, you yes. find a bottle of rum. What kind of rum do you, would you like? Cruzan Blackstrap or something? Like. Uh, Well, I mean, my favorite is Diplomatico. Grand Reserva. Sure, there you go. You find, a you find a fucking bottle of that. Yes. The Ambassador. Uh, guys. Yeah, there were there were a lot of nice. options. Once again, what's I don't this? Know. What's this weight? Because I want to store it's, it. It's a one. Nice. Pretty much. I will gladly I risk being overweight, over encumbered for that. <laughs> That's everything in the game. Should have that one. Sorry, uh, you do not find any cigarettes or cigars there. Uh, oh well, Joseph. I'll move on. Not that's, not really big in the smoking in the spires. You know, even liquor is kind of like pushing it. Especially the shit he's drinking. Yeah. Is he is his speech slurred slightly? Uh, I'm gonna say probably yeah. He comes out like literally. He tries to tell you he found something, and it's just like, I da 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 da. <laughs> uh, are you good, man? <laughs> he thinks he sounds normal. This is yes, yes. So he's having an in-depth conversation, and all we can hear is "How's that? How's 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 that? There's a three. Right, three. three. He, uh, as he's talking to you two, right? You've got a bottle of rum there, Cypher. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you yeah. guys look at him. He suddenly passes out and falls to the floor. The bottle shattering, and as it shatters, you see, like, the floor plating start to, like, smoke. Good lord, what the hell did he drink? Did he drink Kiki's acid? Um, I, I want to pull him away from the spillage in case you know because i don't want it to start corroding him if that's possible i mean he drank it so i <laughs> i just want to i just want to pull him away just Thank away you. from it kiki you come back and you see this with your new drone floating where are you putting her um i'm 
Can she ride on my shoulder for now? <clears throat> Can she? But like hovering next to me. All right. Hold on. We're gonna do you in a second then, as you come back. Uh, Joseph, what are you doing? As Cipher pulls fucking Kevin away from the burning fucking floor. I I'm like, fuck, he's fucked himself badly now, hasn't he? Shit. Um, he said, I'm going to look around for a trolley, something to put him on, and so we can wheel him around. All right. Uh, give me a G12 for that. Don't, don't, no, shit, man. Seriously, G12, here we go. <laughs> Yes, you do. Got you a find wheelchair with that. Yep, nice. Yep. You find it's it's like a, uh, a cart that you have at a restaurant. You know, that's bringing out your food and stuff. That's what you find. Yeah. You're able to find one of those uh, nearby since there are cafes and stuff. Uh, even though the drones usually deliver food, I'll say that you find one, uh, and you can put him on that. Uh, yeah. So that, I'll, we'll put him on that, and then we'll start wheeling him around. <laughs> Uh, All right. Welcome to the special legion. Kiki. It takes you a minute, but you uh, insert said drone, uh, said AI core, and it activates. A minute later, it illuminates and it rises up on its little left pads. Uh, this is not back at AT. Yeah, I thought that you might like to look around before getting back. We're going to be heading back after we find the person we came here for looking. You do realize I was an executive airship, right? Do you... She kind of like sighs. She just looks, she just looks innocently and just happy. <laughs> really not understanding that. Child, I... I understand your heart was in the right place. And I wish... I know. <clears throat> oh boy, this is fun. Hold on. Wait, don't tell me that the core can only be like concerted once. <laughs> like she's now trapped in the... That would be, that would be quite, quite amusing, really. <laughs> You've condemned me be... into this small body. How much information? Uh, all right, she I'll, she got the time from all your comm terms, right? Yeah. Yeah, and she did the scanner. Hold on, I'll get a roll. Let's see how much information she got. I'm gonna do four D twelve because that's that's four of you. Oh. Oh, okay. Not enough to um, fucking have a problem. It, Wait, what? Can Why we does make... that say double one on yeah, my screen? Yeah, I see double. Yeah. I'm not see. Fucking lies. I see double. Oh, it, it, because it was hit again after it stopped rolling. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I have a question. Yeah. I technically gave her mine willingly. Can we make one of those a net 12? <laughs> what? Uh, what? How? how that, what? When she did That's that, I handed the mine over works. willingly. Yeah, yeah no. no. Just I, no. I was, yeah, I was, I was trying to figure out how much. How much would she know of you in your past? That's what I was trying to get at, but she doesn't. Uh, so she kind of like if an AI, once again, this is like Venus, but not because she has no fucking face, no facial expressions, but you hear an audible sigh. Fine, I guess this could be worse. What are we doing? She asks. We came here to the spire to find my mother, I think. Your mother and, uh, is. The person named Leviosa. She stops for a minute. I don't know this Leviosa. Your mother is who? Yeah, sure. uh, tell me if I'm getting that name wrong, because I think that's it. It's just Azura, right? She I always looks... pronounce. I always pronounce it as Azure for some reason. Whatever. Uh, it's fine. She looks again. She's like, I don't have any. Oh wait. Wait. She is your mother. Yeah. Well, what she made me. Well, I suppose it could be worse. And she kind of like floats around you. She does not sit in your shoulder, however. She's like, so, hold on. You see her go over to like the, the uh, hollow terminal that was like disabled and went unpowered. Uh, you see a, a sudden burst of light coming from her. And you see the terminal illuminate as it looks like she's uploading 
or downloading, whatever it is, all the information. Unloading. She pulls all the information and looks back at you. Hmm. Shall we go then? Yes. The others should be over there. I don't know what they're doing though. She's oh, she fun. sighs. They're looking Someone's for t-shirts. Someone's getting shit-faced. Yeah, they're looking for t-shirts and getting shit-faced, she says. <laughs> As you guys continue back. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the woods, guys. I did two back to back. Um. The... Kevin, you wake up, and in front of you, you see a floating sphere. Luminescing slightly. What do you do? Oh, fuck, this wild. You, you realize you are currently being, well, you're traveling without moving. That's the best way to describe it. <clears throat> he's being, he's being driven. Yeah, something like that. Uh, he keeps his lunch. <laughs> That's fine as long as he doesn't fucking puke on me. I don't give a shit. Uh, the three of you or two of you that are coherent see a drone following Kiki as she comes back to you. I, I go. What? You got, what, is that what's that drone? This is Ruby, Ruby she says. Uh, wait, um, have we met Ruby before, or is when we filled um, in with the mission? You yeah, you yeah. did when you found Kiki in the. Uh, oh yeah, okay, yep. okay. Okay. Oh, nice. You found a frame for it. Yeah, nice. This is a great frame, she says. And you see, like, the drone kind of like rotate, and like, if it could like shake its head, no. That's what it does. It's shake back and forth like, nope, nope, no. Well, you see, my character, my character is laughing at this point, but he's inside his suit, so no one can hear. But he is pissing himself because she is pissed with the uh, choice of body. Uh, I'll turn to her and say, look, if we find something better, you can have it. But for the moment, that's all we got. So I mean, we are we an aspire, are. aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Well, why didn't you think of putting me in the AI core? Because because it's got no power. I but, was thinking that, but I couldn't... We don't know how to get there. You realize my core has enough power for myself and to activate systems correctly. Although... Yeah, but... I don't know... I was going to say, this is a big system, mate. This is a big system. You know, it's not just... just this is the entire <laughs> building. You hear an audible sigh. She's like, ugh, fine. What are we doing? We're going to... We're going up? Is that what we're trying to yep. do? Yeah, well, we're trying to go up to find... Liviosa, is it? Yes. I've detected an operating elevator this way, if you want to follow me. And Cypher, your drones, uh, you've been having them scan, right? Yeah. Mapping so out. The... They, as she says that, your drones return a signal, saying that there is an elevator that seems to be have enough power to get you up to the top. Okay. All right. Thanks, Ruby, but, you know, is there anything else we can... You can tell us. Just got the info from these trains. Um, has anyone accessed the system recently? Other than yes. us. Other than us. No. <laughs> Do you not want the map? She. The... No. Oh, it's just. Of course, we want the map. I thought I we just got the map from questions. the trains. Ruby <laughs> rotates, doubling up question. on info. <laughs> Ruby... I asked a completely different question. Ruby rotates to the right slightly. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Then again, I don't know because my systems are not what they used to be. And you can, not that there's a front to the sphere because there really isn't. Once again, it's like display. You definitely can tell she's looking towards Kiki. My cat is still laughing. Still laughing. Still laughing. Still laughing. Anyway. Uh, Shall we so go? No one's... Oh, all right. All right. Calm down, <laughs> love. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's all... Jeez, Louise, calm down. Well, I guess I've already started like wheeling uh, uh, Kevin over because the drones have come back saying that this is 
an active. Right. Uh, Let's just go, bit. for God's sake, before she has an aneurysm or something. Yeah. Um, Ruby, if you'd like, I, we can try to get you to donate the AI control unit. She says nothing. <laughs> she continues to float up. Her little okay. lead pads glowing. Okay. She, you, you're not made a friend there, I'm afraid, love. You've not made a friend. I'm just trying to help. I, I don't think she, I, she feels you're helping, but we'll see how it comes out. I'm sure we can find her a bad body. Right. Well, enough of this. Let's go. So I head up to the working elevator. Yeah. Kevin, give me another endurance check. There's no more ones. I can't promise that with my streak tonight. That's great. Can I can I give him some food? You can you can sure. Oh thank God. You're like uh, Sorry, what are we rolling? <laughs> Just, no, it was an endurance check for Kevin because he uh Oh right, right, okay. Him. Yeah. Uh, uh what Kevin, would you, Kevin? I don't know. Like Sorry, what, are you, what are you giving him? Go ahead. Do well, I mean, food-wise, I've got a noodle bowl, some dried mushrooms, and a desert worm burger. I would suggest the desert worm burger. Okay. Because he most probably won't hold the mushrooms down. Okay. He, I, uh, truffle. I take out my prized, my prized desert worm burger, and I, uh, feed it. Or pass it to Kevin, making sure that he can has <laughs> has enough motor functions to eat it. Uh, Joseph, you're pushing him in said cart. Yes. Okay. So here's here's how this happens. Uh, Kiki, where are you, by the way? Are you behind them? I'm probably yeah, probably following Ruby. Okay. Ruby's up ahead. She's like take off. So you're in front with Ruby. Uh, <clears throat> Joseph, you are pushing Patrick or Kevin on a dolly a cart whatever you want to call it yeah. as as cypher takes out his desert worm burger and holds it in front of kevin's face kevin whatever you drank obviously was not what you thought it was as you look in front of you you see a large desert worm coming quickly towards you give me a d12 he's off his face Gotta be a six. Okay. It appears in front of you, coming out of the sand, as the ground around you rumbles and vibrates. And suddenly, as you open your mouth to scream, it gets you. However, it shrinks down and ends up in your mouth. You look up and you see Cypher, his arm stretched, what appears to be, well, you eating his arm. Yeah, I'm sorry, Cypher. I didn't mean to eat your arm. <laughs> uh, is oh. he actually, so, from my perspective, is he eating the burger? No, not a, yeah, he's eating the burger. Okay, so. And his arm. <laughs> okay, well, like, like... Okay, okay, Kevin, Kevin. It's okay, man. It's, thank, thank you for apologizing, but it's not my arm. You're having a, a, a burger, like, you know. Cypher, your it's... arm is delicious, man. I like charisma checks for both. Hey, <laughs> is this? Uh... Oh wait, oh, it doesn't matter with my um, minus two yeah, not, against. Not, not this. <laughs> uh, charisma. I'm gonna say you're gonna beat that, Cypher. Do I need to make a charisma uh, check as well? One. Where is my charisma? Oh, there it is. I'll make you charisma as well, Angela. I'll do it anyway. Just here we know, go. It could be here we one. go. Nope. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yep. Nope. Solid. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Kevin, you failed that. Sorry. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are convinced that it is okay. You believe him. Both of them. As the voices echo in your head. However. The effect after you eat the burger, the effect starts to wear off. That's good. As you approach. The elevator. Hey, 
I assume Kiki's already there. Yeah. Uh, basically, the elevator's open. Uh, Ruby flies inside, stopping. Once again, you're not sure which is the front and the one in the back, because it is a sphere. But it's kind of like bobbing there as you enter the elevator with the three others uh, wheeling. Kevin, you almost feel good enough to get off as you see the elevator coming towards you. Mind you, it's coming towards you. You're not going towards it. <laughs> God, I gotta get out of the way! Oh, I'll pull myself out of the buggy. Uh, I make sure that he doesn't, like, fall over, but, like, you know, just assist him. Because I'm assuming he's, like, you know, drunk and, like, uh, wobbling around, can't really properly stand. So I'm just, like, acting with my good arm, I'm, like, trying to act as I could crush. Okay, you help him off the card and stumble into said elevator. Yeah, we're all still continuing in, right? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll help him in. Okay. If I have to, I'll just push him in. <laughs> um, are you two holding him? <clears throat> or... No. Like... <laughs> no, he, he can sit down in the corner, <laughs> and if he wants to puke his guts up, he can do so. I'm not getting covered, just because he's... Yeah, I'm kind of trying to, like, three-man, three-leg race, you know. Like okay. just supporting on one side, trying to like you know. I'm not. No, I'm not supporting him. Uh, he... <laughs> no, I, I am. I'm supporting him. I'm saying, but, okay. Yeah. Right. The th- three-legged race, thing, you know, like... like I'm, I'm beside him, so like you know, just trying to support him from <laughs> my good side. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Very nice. All right. You all enter the elevator. The door is shut, and you start to ascend, continuing up the spire. Uh, Kevin, give me an endurance check. You get a one here, you die. <laughs> it's not a one, but it is a two, which is not right. good. Uh, he jinxed me. You are, yeah, Joseph doesn't care. Cypher, you're, you're helping him stand in the corner, correct? Yeah, okay. just trying to keep him upright. The elevator he, brings he, you up. acting like normal. Yeah, and Kiki just... The elevator brings you up another hundred floors when it comes to stop, and the doors open on another ring. Uh, it takes... Give me a perception check, all of you. Um, question. Within those ranges, would the AI core area be somewhere? By what? By AI, AI core. core. unit. 99. Uh, yeah, it's underground. Okay, so, kit, yeah. So couldn't go there. I so, swear, I thought, holy it, shit. thought it said, um, mm-hmm. yeah. the, the AI middle control, the... yeah, no, the AI control is directly in the middle down below, uh, basically almost where the reservoirs are. I got it. So you guys are already, like, up here. That's where you are. What are we AI, rolling again? AI core is down there. Uh, you're not rolling shit. No, uh, okay. perception. Okay, that's what no. I thought. Was. You can roll perception. You have a negative fucking, what, four? Funny. Sure, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I mean, fucking Joseph and. All right, that's better. Eleven with the negative four. Yeah, on the way up, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. And uh, just let be. What are you doing? Never mind. All right. You ascend about a hundred floors when the elevator comes to a stop and the door is open on a, another ring. It takes you to. Uh, we'll say Cypher and Joseph, because you got 21s, especially Cypher. It takes you a moment to realize what you see as the doors open. At first, you thought you could be imagining the wisps of luminescent smoke in the air, but then it gets brighter as the man in front of you exhales another puff of bright smoke. He smiles. Took you long enough. Leave the girl. And the rest of you can go, he says. Give me a second. Do, do, do. Change Who the fuck are you, motherfucker? I just look at Joseph. Why do they want to leave you? That's when all of you 
uh, including the guy who's perfect right in the corner, <clears throat> realizes there are laser, green laser sights on all of you. Stipers I pressed have... the down button. <laughs> Just the fake hope that it might work. I, I'm like po poking at the green laser with my finger trying to catch it. You kind of hear it. Like as, cat. As, he suddenly turns into a cat chasing as, it around the room. <laughs> as you press it, you hear a laugh. <laughs> what the fuck uh, is this? And what's that supposed to do? He takes another puff. And exhales. Put your uh, put your icons over here. Here's the elevator. Right there. That's where you're all at. It's actually like right there. One, two, three. We need another one. Who's missing? Yeah, Joseph, to, you're outside of the elevator. How do I? Why can't I track it over? Doop. Why can't you're I? Like in the corner. Oh, there we go. There we go. In the corner over here. Right. Joseph's hitting the button. Kiki, you're like over here, and you're like yeah, right there. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I'll be We're there. Propping him up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say to the I'm going to say to this drone. That's another fine mess you got us into. The drone disappears like that. No. <laughs> I didn't do Bastard. That. Motherfucker. Takes another puff and exhales. Like I said, leave the girl and the rest of you can go. I'm not going to ask you again, he says. Uh, looking past him, how many other, how many, is it like hundreds of fucking dots right. on us? <clears throat> Give me a perception check. Perception. I uh, oh, yes. Well, if you, I suppose anybody who wants yeah, to find uh, out yeah. how many. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what's going on. Um, instead of making perception checks, since I suck at those, can I say something? No. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm blind. I'm, <laughs> I, in fact, one of the lasers gets in my eyes, and I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck. Why? Fuck. Fuck. Why? Fucking get those lasers, you gonna... bastards. You can, uh, what are you doing, PK? Um, she would ask the person, why do you want me? You can roll whatever you One want. One roll of charisma. Okay. Is this person human? It's gonna be a regular charisma plus your uh, D12. No, no, nothing else. Okay. All right, so once again, how it's gonna work. I have changed actions for a reason because once again, uh, it's not in sight. We're not calling it in sight because once again, yeah, don't hate me, but I hate D&D. &D. Uh, you are, will be able to use perception to find out hit points, enemy, armor levels, etc., etc. It costs an action to do it. It's not a fucking free thing. Um, yeah, that has no effect there. Sorry there, Kiki. Uh, from what you can tell... <laughs> oh no, I wasn't trying to do my chemical gland thing. I was just trying to ask him. Yeah, no, that's not even like... Ah, hold on. Yeah, it was, it was like an actual question since I, since I'm the only she among the group. I thought maybe he might answer. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, let me roll this. Uh, where's attributes? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he kind of like laughs as you see him take another puff. You know. We figured it was easier for you to ha come to us than for us to go to you. Should be pretty apparent at this point, he says. Uh, from what the rest of you can gather, there's at least three or four others, including the man standing in front of you. Uh, nobody's asked me for those insight checks. I'm not going to call them insight checks. Can, I, can we do it? Not an insight check. <laughs> we're, what we're going to do is initiative right now. Oh. Initiative slash turn order, because I need to know what everyone's doing. Here, remove all turns. Clear. Thank you. I'm the trunk and corner play with a laser pointer. I'm quite fast, actually. I was gonna say, if 
<laughs> that faster does. than him, that'd be shocking. That makes great sense. All right. Uh, Joseph, you're pressing the buttons does nothing. The elevator appears to be dead on the spot. You have first turn. What would okay, you like I'll to go. Right, well, so the lift isn't going to take us down. Well, how do we get out? And I'm, I'm looking at him. I decided the unimpressed. He can't see it though because it's behind a fucking mask. But I'm like, okay, smart Alec. Can't get out for a lift. How the f do we leave then? My cat has decided the unimpressed. After coming all this way, he's got to go away. Fuck off. Yeah, he, you know, speed is not uh, fast enough for this. So <clears throat> here's what happens. He laughs again. Obviously, you set the girl outside, and then we'll let you go. That's how this is gonna work. One more action. What would you like to do? Uh, I'll go. Well, that's down to her, not down to us. She's an adult. She looks after herself. Well, sort of an adult. If she wants to stay, she can stay. If not, you're going to have to suck it up. You're going to save everybody else, girl? Or are you going to end up letting them die? He says, it's Kiki, your turn. Uh, and I am going to start preparing some psychic powers. Motherfucker's going to get some. He's going to get some. Okay. Before, before I step out, can you tell me who you are? You'll find out once you step out. Takes another puff of the stem. You know me, you should introduce yourself. Isn't that polite? <sighs> he Bobby sighs, Bobby. and you see him raise his hand and went, like, kind of like, does that ra hand raise? And suddenly there's a burst of gunfire. Oh, well, I've done my turn, so not a lot I can do. Yeah, um, Kiki's gonna hide behind Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's still trying to play the goddamn laser pointer. Give me a second. Right. I think she's a small cat. Guys, uh, have you seen these green things? Nobody gave you a stem. I should have. Hold on. I gotta do this. I don't have any stems. I have a stem. Sunset Meadow. No! Don't give me that one! <laughs> now try to get me, get me higher! Oh my god, hold on. Oh, what is this? Fuck. Uh, oh I think add. one's reference. It was something I accidentally stabbed Baldrick with that just made a fucking eye off his ass. I'm gonna add six to this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who is that aimed at? Wow, I don't even know. Hold on, wait. I do know, That's but... That's two criticals. That's Holy not a fucking good thing. Holy shit. <laughs> oh Someone's my gonna get fucking God. hurt. Is, is, is Kevin gonna wake up and everybody else is fucking <laughs> dead? Because I'm laying on the goddamn floor right now. This is... Now, this is... Using, I'm just using you as a shit. Guys, what happened? Oh my God. Give me a second. I gotta fucking do math here. Uh... Kevin's just suffering from memento. Wow. Then. <laughs> wow. Sorry, give me a second. I gotta read this. You see, there's two other characters. One's on the floor. They don't want to hurt the girl, so that leaves two other characters. <laughs> Who's gonna get the fucking 12s? Mmm, Cypher. I wonder who that will be. <laughs> fucking cheers. Oh, Fuck. um, I'm sorry, guys. I hope you have... No. no. Imagine but... that Kevin's oh my God. personality slips even further. In another one, a drug addict forms up from it. Hold on, I gotta do, I gotta do, I gotta, holy shit, dude. I didn't expect I was gonna yeah. roll that, but that's fucking amazing. Give me a second. Um, yeah, you're, someone's dead. Oh yeah, somebody, oh, it's somebody, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry, hold on. It's going to be painful, someone. Oh, if only, hold on, what does this do? 1 do 12 times 20. Oh, it doubled because it's a critical. Yep. Mm. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> Four hundred. Yeah, that's game over for somebody. Oh, oh my god! It's a I rape pitch there. A bit of rape pitch. Wow! I fucking wow. This game is. This is fucking a brutal system. I just. 
Yeah, hold on. Oh, I, I think you need to make some more changes. Terminator. Uh, I'd just like to say, someone's going to lose a character now. Bye bye. Wait, wait, oh wait, wait. You, you guys do have armor on. Don't forget that. Uh, 480 I've points got... worth. I think fucking not. Oh my god. Yeah, my armor's already severely damaged. Yeah, mine, mine's encounter. already half. Down to if half. He, wait, if he rolls, so, so mine hit the head, then it's triple. Well, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever part of a body he's hit, it's fucking gone. Wow. Even if you divide that by five, even if you go, right, divide that by five. Hold on, wait, let's, let's, let me do the second one. The second one? Yeah, two yeah, hits, two twelves. Oh, that's only five. Fucking hell. Double oh, to 200. Only fucking 100, 200 points of damage. All right. This is fucking amazing. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, these. That's not a lot. By the I way, you guys, that. you guys dropped one of these fucking things. Uh, let me tell you. I'll tell you what happens. Just let me, let me fucking figure this out. Hold on. That's two hundred points of damage. Holy fuck! That's four hundred and eighty points of damage. Wow, this is going to be fucking amazing, I'm just going to say. So that is 680 points of fucking damage. It's not all. Oh, fucking take that. <laughs> Could fucking take that, no problem. Fucking take that, Okay, mate. I don't know who's that going for. <laughs> You're a uh, tank. All right, I, here's, here's hit areas. Here's, here's hit areas, okay? Tell me what they are. If that rolls. No, why did um, you fucking do that? Hold on. You rolled a D two hundred and twelve. We got an eighteen. Five. Whatever. Um, le right. Um, left leg. And right. eight. Right so, arm. What is it? Right so, arm. Yeah, right arm and left leg. Okay. Give me a second. I have a feeling um, I'm. So we, we might be short of a few limbs now. Uh, wait, wait, wait. If the one that hits the right <laughs> arm is the one that separated law, oh. technically he dodged it by a millisecond. Wow. This is... I... Hold on. Give me a second. And the second one was where? Right leg? Or right arm? Um, right... right arm. Sorry, I'm just... I'm trying to... Fucking do this. 680 points of damage. Alright. <clears throat> Oh my god, dude. Give me a second. Sorry. All right, <clears throat> let me read this for you. This is what you all see. <laughs> oh, this is fucking fuckery. All right. <clears throat> Are you ready for this? You see. Uh, as everything is going down. Oh my god. You suddenly see one of the laser sights pull off of you. It disappears. You see a sudden burst of light as purple and blue energy tendrils spiral from a location above you some distance away, slowly dissolving into thin air. The tendrils disappearing I don't even know if he can play this about this one. Well, considering he said he, I am okay with this. No, we're, they were never going to fucking hurt you anyway. No. You, they wanted you alive, so they weren't going to pump you full of fucking rounds, were they? If they if they know what Kiki can do, that means they don't really care, because she can attack to be unalive itself. What armor level do they have? Hold on. Okay. Okay. Go through. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking... Attention. Full damage up to level 8. Full damage up to level 8. Oh, 
Oh yeah, well, that's yeah, that's all the armor ignored then. Yep. <clears throat> all right. Here's what you see. The guy in front of you exhales. He says something as you see one of the laser sights disappear off of you. Suddenly, the guy in front of you is shredded. You see nothing but bioluminescent spray go up into the air as his arm and his fucking leg is severed. And he falls to the ground. Yeah, he's dead. Fuck. Oh, oh, it wasn't us. I'm almost disappointed. Almost. Why? Uh, yeah, he can't come back for that. And he had armor, but uh, not high enough. Too bad for him. Hold on. Is there anything higher than level 8? I know eight, they eight is the highest. Anymore. Yeah, you said it ignores all the armor to that way. But... Basically, yeah. The, no, this this weapon that he got hit with, I didn't expect two twelves, honestly, but it's whatever. Uh, yeah, he's fucking dead, dude. Did he get hit with a thermal lance, or uh? Uh. <clears throat> anyways, what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to do another round of initiative. Sorry to skip all your turns, but this is yeah, this is no longer like order of events. This is combat. Uh, so roll initiative. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm not very fast. Kevin getting a one makes sense. <laughs> Is that everybody? I, I like how you guys got two, three, and four. All right. There is a sudden burst of gunfire. There are a couple of rounds coming your way. I'm sorry ahead of time. You get another fit. I'm going to laugh. Just leave. Uh, this is gonna go in order. Come on, what is wrong with me? Roll. Three, two, twelve. No crit. Oh, one crit. Oh! Alright. <clears throat> Give me a second, I gotta look up this too. I think... Seven also hits. Oh. I think it Yeah, that's seven hits too. What are the three people being aimed at? <clears throat> so, the three people with being aimed at are Kiki, Joseph, and Cypher, in that order. So. Damn it, I got the crit. Yes. Yep, you got the crit. We swap it around and give Cypher the cut. Go in order. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I've, had, I've had enough. I've had enough things absolutely thwacking me. He wants to be a Terminator anyway. Gives a perfect story opportunity. <laughs> yes, but I'd like to be alive as well. All right. <laughs> uh, Kiki, you have armor level five. Yes. Eleven. Take 11 health. Um, and give me an endurance check. It's got to be over at 11. Back. Or 12, That's I mean. my armor with one. Wait, what? It doesn't hit your armor. It goes to your health. Oh, really? Yeah, it's electric. So, give me an endurance check. You have to get over at 12 to stay conscious. Otherwise, you get knocked out. Oh, they're trying to knock us out. Yeah. Well, they're trying to knock her out. Mm. Oh, okay. I finally succeeded on this. You did. Uh, you are still a conscious. Uh, so what you see is basically you see these tendrils shoot through this guy in front of you. There's a certain uh, a sudden burst of gunfire as you see these rounds, exotic rounds coming towards you. What hits you, Kiki, is basically like an electronic blue, like you see just blue lightning come towards you. As it hits, your armor dissipates that much, and uh, you take 12 health. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, you are not... 12? Yeah, you take 12 health. You are not knocked right. out. Oh. If you got under that, you would have been knocked out. Yeah, round up. All right, and for the other two, uh, that was that critical. 
Oh wait, that's times two, so take, I'm sorry, you're right, take uh, 22 points Please. of health. What? And that's enough to knock you out, isn't it? That was a critical hit. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, 39. you rolled a 17. Yeah? Yep, uh, that's enough to knock you out momentarily. Damn. I thought that was already crit since. I thought that was already critted, that's why I didn't say anything. No, so remember electrical weapons, stun weapons will hit your armor. Your armor dissipates that energy by its level, but the rest goes to your health. And if your endurance okay. isn't high enough to get past that threshold, it knocks you out. Since that was a critical, yeah, uh, yeah, you are knocked out. This guy in front of you gets shot, you get hit with that. Uh, and there are two more rounds, or one more round, coming your way. Who gets hit? I think Joseph, right? Is that what I said? Come at me, bro. Yeah, coming at you. <clears throat> oh, you can take it. I can take that. Oh, oh God. Uh, give me a second. Oh, I love using lethal force against you, apparently. These rounds, yeah, uh, just, you have level five, right? Yep. So it's divided by half. Uh, yeah, okay. That's still 60. And it's <laughs> gonna go to, it's gonna go to your head. Shit. Oh nice. my god. <laughs> I think I might be dead. Um, so, uh, I've already taken 25 points of damage. So that leaves 25, I believe, because each armor piece is 50, isn't it, for level 5? Yeah. Yep. So that leaves 25. So that leaves a f uh, 25 minus... 60 minus 25 leaves 35. That leaves 35 go to the head. Um, actually, actually oh. when it hits the head, it's doubled. So, so 35 doubles to 70. Uh, where's my overall... Or was it tripled? Remind me, Omar. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, that's, that's 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 not what I wanted to have happen. <clears throat> um, well, well, he hits me in the head. I, uh, he yeah. does seventy points of damage. How much damage? How many hit points do I have? Oh, no yeah. hit points. No. <laughs> uh, Joseph Is also it? goes down. Uh, I go down for the count. I'm, I think I'm toast, actually. At the moment, uh, yeah. I did not mean for the first round to knock Kiki and you out. Uh, Kevin is also out. Yeah, you're you're out. What's what are you at? Negative. All right. So head damage is oh. times six. Wait, hang on. So how many how many hit points does each location have? Uh, so, how many hit points do I have overall? So overall, you should have sixty health, right? Yes. So I've got I'm on minus minus ten health then. Okay. So you're not remember you don't officially die until negative sixty. So, okay. Well. Wait, um, uh, 120 with headshot would be 700. No, it's fine. I thought. It's, no. I was gonna say I thought yeah. you'd only net mod multiply the damage when it gets to the head. Yeah. So it would not, have been soaked up by the armor, armor. And, then and then whatever went to the head. So negative 10. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In that quick second, this guy goes down in front of you. There is a burst of energy that fires that takes Kiki out. Kevin, you're watching this from the corner. Actually, she might be collapsed on him. That's fine. Yeah, you fall actually on Kevin. That's great. And Wait, what happens to me if I'm supporting Kevin and Kiki fall to something? I, I, it's fine. She's like on top. You're like... Okay. She's on the ground. Uh, Joseph went down. Jesus Christ, that's... Alright. There is... This guy's dead. They fired, they fired, they fired. Uh, that is it for them. Um, Kiki, you can give me an endurance check. Okay, and they can, let's see. Seventeen. Uh, what did they roll? Wait, so the shot, the shot yeah. against me missed. Yeah. Thank sure. goodness. Also, I'm um, I'm doing some I'm doing this. 
the regeneration kicks okay. in at every turn. Yep. No, that's fine. You're still unconscious, but you're regenerating. Uh, Cypher. Uh... I'm not really sure what there is I can to you. Because... Wait, you, we can see the other people shooting at us, right? Uh, you can trace their... They seem to be on the second deck. Yes, we, yeah, we realized that there were like four, three or four people. Let me uh, grab some icons. Tokens. I presume it would be four because there was a laser on each of us. They appear to be on the second tier. And yes, they had you dialed in. Uh, you're not sure where the fourth one is. This guy's uh, dead. Spraying bioluminescent fluid all over the floor from what you can see. So there's three. Uh, however, they look very confused at the moment. Uh, okay. There's a. The one he's actually shooting right now is out of sight. Uh, yeah, whoever shot at him, you can't see. Oh, so the subsequent shots were from the people on the balcony? Oh uh, yeah, so the ones that lit you guys up were from these three. Okay. Which have a clear line of sight. Actually, oh, right there. Uh, I don't think I can make it to the save since I the highest I can roll is essentially a nineteen. Well, wait, a twelve uh, would make it, and that yeah. twelve would make it. Should it also every turn it goes down by like. Or it gets easier by what two? I think it was is what I had. So uh, wait, so is that, that right? should make it. Oh, I know uh, it would be next turn. So next turn you'll be able to link up if you get that. Yeah, so it goes down by two. Uh, Cipher, what are you doing? Uh, well, because I know they're going to kill Kiki. There is some place. Uh, so basically, when the doors open, there's not a lot of cover in here. There is yeah, cover no, out here and out here. Yeah, you are basically wide open for getting rounds shot okay. at you. Like, is this? Um, I'm I'm just putting it here just to ask: Is this usable space where I'm putting yeah. it now? Yeah. Yep. You can jump over this oh. area and get there. Because uh, okay, this so... this line is like a second floor above you. And then this line here? Uh, here. that's like, this line is the second floor. That's why these guys are um, on the second floor. This is like a promenade down here. There's like planters. Uh, this underneath here is stores, but this, this area right here is open. Uh, this is like a cafe or something. I didn't have much time to work on the map, sorry. Oh no, that's fine. Um, I don't really have... Because I could rush to like there. I think that still puts me in the line of fire, isn't it? There, there is stuff in here. I just need time to fucking. There is cover down here. Okay. And in here. Uh, Hold on, I gotta make you guys some cover. I'm sorry. Um, I got this. You're gonna make cover. All right, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Just random shop yeah. stuff. Yeah, there you go. Great. There is uh, cover. I'm trying to think if I had to use Kiki as a body shield. Or book it for some cover. Um, I'm going to go for cover, I think, because Kiki's not big enough to shield all of me. Uh, does diagonal count as like, you know? Yeah, it's like one. Okay, fine. Um, how's that for cover? That's great. Uh, how big is the elevator shaft wing? It's like right there. Is it three by three? Yeah, so it's three by three. Okay, because I was going to ask if I could do that diagonal, but that's technically not a space right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, like down here. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. There we go. That's my rush. Okay, that's your uh, turn. Uh, 
Is rushing counting as an action or both actions? Yeah, that would, if you're double timing, it's both actions. You only have two actions, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So you get so, behind. Yeah, that, you find way. yourself behind cover. There, I gotta get you guys a new player pack. Uh, mm -hmm. Joseph, I need an endurance check from you. You're also going to take. Well, a little more health. Give me an endurance check. Oh, first. I Right, uh, we're going to have to grind up in a minute because it's one minute past twelve. Is it already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I... Endurance is eleven. Here we okay. go. I got a perfect place that this is going to end. So. Oh dear. Okay. Well, at least it wasn't a one. All right. It's not a one. Uh, you are unfortunately still down. You're going to take another ten points because you are seriously uh, wounded. All right. Let me just make sure. Make a note of this stuff. Edit. You're bleeding out. Uh, Kevin. What are you doing? Am I still high as balls? I mean, you're able to balls. do stuff. You're at a negative two. So you see what's going on around you. Fucking Joseph just got wailed in the head. He went down. Kiki is currently unconscious. Uh, Cypher ran out the door. Um, where my movement also have a minus two? Uh, no, that's fine. I'll still be in cover regardless. But. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. I toss a uh, smoker day right here. Okay, give me your attack roll. Once again, this is an area effect, so you don't. It's only going to be your hit prob. All right, so you do. Yo, I got something to roll. Hold on, where is uh? Um, is Kevin normal high or Baldrick high? <laughs> <laughs> He's like Kevin High. He's not Paul Drakai. There you go. Smoke grenade is out like that. Let's do one more initiative and then we'll call it uh, because I got uh, actually. Do I need my second? Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. What's your second? Sorry. I, I crawl up to Joseph and hit him with an advanced med pack. Oh, nice job. That's okay. You're right there. I'll allow that. Yeah, we don't need initiative. Here's what happens. Here's how we're going to end this, right? <clears throat> All right. Joseph is currently down. You stab him with the advanced med kit. Cypher. You move to safety, or what you think is safe, when a sudden round, well, comes at you. However, you are pulled away from it. The round, you look back and you see where the round went through. You look in front of you. <laughs> Hold on. You're pulled to safety by someone wearing optical camo. You look at the hole behind you, beside you and look back at the person in front of you. You can tell it's a woman since you can feel her breast against your armor. Before you can say anything, she kisses you passionately. She pulls away and you can just make out a smile as her optical camo adjusts and she disappears, leaving you a sweet, with a sweet taste in your mouth and familiar floral scent in the air. At your feet, you see a revive and a magnetic pulse rifle and that's where we're gonna leave it <laughs> fucking lilac is it the girl in the bar uh, maybe it's cypher's okay. girlfriend <laughs> okay so uh right what was my um, left a revive kit and so with on, oh, all right. my neck, I will all right. love you and leave you till next week. Have fun, sir. Yes. You take it easy, out there. Yes. Good night. Good night. See you next week. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah I'll, I just need to wrap up the. Uh, so, revive kit and magnetic pulse rifle. Yeah, I believe it is a revive kit. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, but you have, you have those two things. I was going to say she puts it in your hands, but. Uh, my hand <laughs> in your in your hand she was going to say some snarky remark to you but we, we didn't need that since it, it is late it took a three hour session <laughs> but uh yeah holy shit headshots i apologize yeah, you I, I, who were going all out on us well you guys are on your you played how many i i might have hinted you played how many sessions like yeah we're we're not playing with like punks anymore we're playing with heavy um, speaking of which yeah can two i ones. roll to see if i wake up before go ahead <laughs> lilac two fucking ones man <laughs> dude uh, so many uh, things i was playing I, I was the guy who was ready to shoot people with elevated doors open earlier god damn it oh hey, i'm waiting for that shit 
Wow. I woke Whoa. up. You were ready. You were ready on that first. That's why I was like, the first one? No, it's not going to be the first one. It's going to be the second. God. And then you had a fucking... Yeah, I was going to be ready on the second one, but, you know, I was <laughs> fucking high in a corner. God damn it. I have smoke grenades. I was playing the lead with the smoke grenade, so they oh can't fucking God. see us. Yeah, but what kind of smoke grenade? Ah. Just regular smoke grenades. All right, from from what you could tell, literally this guy not was not only armored, but probably augged. Like... A high level log, judging by the bioluminescent fluid that fucking sprayed through the air magically. So, you're not. Smoke grenades might have not done. or might not do anything. Let's just say that. You're. Once again, you're not playing with punks here. But, um, holy shit. Yeah, this is some scary. Yeah. Uh, right, I need to go as well, guys. Alright, it's been fun. Yeah. Pleasure. Yes. Until next Good time. Stuff. I hope you'll enjoy yes. this session. <laughs> Yeah, you take it easy. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll let you know about the program generation yeah. thing and then just uh, yeah. when you have time, just run some stuff, see if it works, if it's enjoyable or not. So, cool. Anyways, yeah, that was uh, session right. thirty-two. Until next time. Bye bye.